Yo, what's going on, you guys? <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Motley Muse, as usual. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's oh, up, bud? What's up, what's up Bram? What's up, DC? Hey, what's up, guys? Good to see y'all. Man, I was, I'm surprised when I went on stream right now, you guys just didn't have all these Rolexes and everything like that on and like all kinds of jewelry, iced out bling and stuff with the hex price been the way it's been the past couple I was looking of at Rolexes before, you know, <laughs> right before. <laughs> I, got, I got this really nice Baltic. Uh, it's what actually a French it? made watch. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty cheap, but uh, it's nice and I like it. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. I wouldn't want her Frank <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no Rolexes yet. Considered it. I know I was t talking to you today. I was, I was looking at a, uh, just snag it up like a cheap Milgauss or something like that, just so I can say I have a Rolex and not, yeah. not damper the, the bankroll too much. Not yet. Mo anyways. Motley was hitting me with a brick because I was telling him I was trying to buy a really good uh, Rolex and stuff. He was like, "Don't do it, Miguel. Stop." <laughs> That's a lie. I was encouraging the fuck out of that. I was like, uh, uh, I was like, we'll get you a cheap date just. We'll bling it the fuck out so it just looks ridiculous. Oh yes, you did say that. Yeah, 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 we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll destroy the value instantaneously, but it'll be iced the fuck out, and uh, the watch will be relatively inexpensive as far as Rolexes go. It'll be, it'll be perfect. It'll be loud and over the top. You'll love it. Yeah. So I have on this side, I have Good Motley, and on this side, I have Clay. <laughs> and then both of these fuckers are telling me to waste money. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to think of which one would tell you that yeah, I was about to say both would probably tell you just get the fucking blinged out Rolex. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Ho hopefully you just like never plan to sell it because you do anything aftermarket with Rolexes as far as diamonds go and it just destroys the value. So my master plan is just to get so famous that like because it was on my wrist and stuff, they're like, damn, this was worn by like dollar cost, so like the, damn, this thing's actually appreciated in value and then what i'm going to do is then take this watch off my wrist and then give it to bran and then bran's going to wear it for a while he's going to get super famous and then he's like dude this was worn by dc and bran then okay this is the hard part okay then me and bran are going to pull our resources together and then give it to motley and then motley we're going to try to get motley that shit no 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 motley, no 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 wait wait no, hold on hold on motley will then try to get famous get famous for something terrible and then get infamous and then from there it, it, when we take that watch from him after he goes to jail we'll then auction it at christie's for a lot of money because it was worn by like dc brand and some infamous dude named motley for for a crime that we will not talk about Okay. We're going to sell it as an NFT, right? <laughs> yes, as an NFT as well. One of one. You don't actually get the watch. You just get the NFT of it. <laughs> Guys, there's only 5,000 unique NFTs of this watch. 5,000 will ever be made. Get it while you can. Brand NFT. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you get Pulse Chain, and then you have just duplicates. It's like, I thought you said there would only be 5,000. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Yeah. What's that? Um, any RGH news? RGH news. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Probably R on, just just probably RH news from the his stream he did earlier. Yeah. So he bought a really nice uh, uh, fat from the factory blinged out Rolex GMT. Uh, I personally nice thought he was going to buy the Rainbow Daytona uh, white gold. But turns out, I think he he went a little cheap on us. He got a he got the cheaper <laughs> blinged out version. It's only about a quarter million as opposed to like four hundred thousand. So he went a little cheap. He went a little cheap on us. Went a little cheap. Yeah, Motley was really disappointed. Like, I thought fierce. I thought I I thought I got it right based off his context clues because he said the best one of the most expensive Rolexes they have right now, which is the Rainbow Daytonas. And then he said, well, not the most, like the second best. So the rose gold goes for the most. So I was like, oh, easy day. White gold, rainbow, Daytona. And then he cheaped out on me and he got the freaking GMT instead. He said he saw more room for uh, for uh, ga uh, value increase. And I was just like, eh, you just couldn't get the rainbow Daytona, could you, Richard? <laughs> no, no. You, you know what else is really spicy? Is that he, he posted this and then somebody from the Monero community posted like posted this fluffy to pony. <laughs> fluffy pony <laughs> and then that. fluffy pony of all people took a little shot at Richard and was like yo I never I never thought anyone that, that thing's so tacky I never thought anyone outside of <laughs> the Middle East would ever wear that 
whoo, and like the amount of restraint that that like that Richard said was like, bro, it's you calling me tacky is like that, that's you a call- big, yeah, that's a big talk from Fluffy Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Because what was it, what was that what was that watch he had with the strap with the plastic strap that he kept? Like the Richard about? Mills, Richard something Mill. like Richard that. Mill, yeah. yeah, they're yeah. garbage. I'm sorry for any of you guys that like Richard Mill, but man, they are a, they they are a hype train. They know how to market well, and I mean this the supply, the scarce supply is really what drives it. Between the hype and the, they they do just a very good job at marketing. But man, I honestly don't think they're that great at watches. I think they're kind of they look like toys to me. I much rather have a very nice quality Rolex or paddock or um ap essentially anything other than richard mill especially for those kind of price points they're they go to like anywhere between like two hundred thousand to like eight hundred thousand to a million like no thank you <laughs> richard's like yeah and then you wear that shit on a fucking rubber band so it's just like what the fuck <laughs> yeah this looks way better there for half is. the cost Shoo! Look at that. <laughs> that does look nice. It, it's it's a little too blinged out for me. Like if yeah, maybe it, it would be better if the band didn't have diamonds for me. I'd be okay. I'd like it better if the band didn't have diamonds. Yeah. The Pepsi yeah, Cola is cool. Yeah. Blind you just looking at it. Yeah. 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 It's essentially it's it's essentially a really fancy blinged out Pepsi GMT. I mean, you can not too not oh, too nice. shabby. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, that was the paddock box. I was about to say that. Yeah. That's not a Rolex box. Where is it? Where is it? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Are you trying to find Fluffy Pony's comment? I think, yeah. didn't, he, didn't he retweet it or no? Maybe. Maybe he deleted it or something, but it's very... Uh, I thought, yeah, I thought he like, retweeted it. <laughs> Bro, that's don't, classic. Hate, don't you hate on Cassios. That's, no, no, I'm not. I don't hate that's it all, God tier. That's God tier God, watches right God there. Tier. <laughs> yeah. It's God tier, <laughs> as Nico would say. Definitely an I'll have to find it right now, but I'll... Um, damn, man, that comment was spicy, man. Let's see Damn. oh well yeah yeah i think uh on his like watch roll he had between the two paddocks and now the the rolex about a half million on uh little three three little watches not bad you guys you richard somewhere? richard's dumping on us clearly gosh <laughs> yeah what the price is going down no i don't i don't know Come on, man. Those, well, those watches are that? too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> if hey, if someone actually wants to buy it and uh, give me cheaper hex, I'm okay with it. I was. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. This man. is like you calling me fat. I got some things you might like. <laughs> the rubber band <laughs> watch, man. It like uh, this killed me right here from Fluffy Pony. <laughs> <laughs> Both you guys need to lose some weight. Damn it. <laughs> I mean. Three of us need to lose some fucking weight. Yeah. Four of us. I'm trying to. Yeah. It's these. T- it's too many of these damn streams between this and like I was doing the Hex Asian stream before this. It's like four hours on top of unfortunately still a work day. Like I'm so I'm so ready to be done with work. Just full full time crypto at least for uh, <laughs> the bull market. Damn, they actually got paid on that. Oh shit. Still can't believe it. Now, is that actually confirmed? I don't know what a ransom is, but uh, <laughs> ransomware. Yeah. Was that uh, was that actually confirmed that they got uh, they got paid? And was it in Bitcoin? Damn. I I have a hard time feeling like they actually paid him. That's crazy. Why why I mean, but but why is the media thinking it's him? It could have been her, you know. Girls girls don't do maniacal hacking and. Uh, running the <laughs> they don't do that kind of shit it's not their mo right but i wonder i wonder i wonder though if like you know right it's Yo, pretty funny i, I hate i hate brightlings i'm sorry brightlings i think are ugly as fuck and the resale value is tough on those depending on which one you got right uh, no eat lift program what's up dude yeah, if you guys ever want to learn how to program and stuff, everything this this is your man right here. He's got a really cool program of how to how to. You ever seen those dogs and stuff when this like when when you want to learn like how to like code something right? Like imagine like you're a dog on a surfboard going through a like through an like internet tunnel. He's the guy who shows you how to enter that tunnel as a dog on a surfboard into the internet. It's this guy right here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> No, no, it's a, it's a really cool program. You don't you don't meet too many people who actually have really good like coding programs, at least to help you start off. You know, it's pretty tight. 
Suspect. Yeah, that is suspect. He's like, I want it all in marked bills. <laughs> Mark it. Uh, I'll take a transponder to go with that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Don't follow me, please. All right, you guys, I need you to drop the money off at 911 Boulevard. <laughs> drop drop the money off into Hex for me. I'll be I'll be content with that. That's fine. No, just, just, real, go, man. Just, drop, just drop it in there. All right, man. Let's 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 do a little something different today. Let's like t look at the prices right now on everything. I was just looking at that Bitcoin, yeah. Yeah, well, here I'll just do I'll go on Nomics. You know, just for the cost. Please do. All right, so we got Bitcoin here, finally above forty thousand, which is amazing. Now, the squiggly line represents prices up. That's good. I like green. Um, Ethereum. No. <laughs> but you know, it actually is pretty good, though. Like right now, I, um, Ethereum tech compared to Bitcoin right now is actually kind of at a fair market value price, actually, which is kind of which is kind of surprising because. Um, if, if, you, if you knew for a long time, this is something like me and Charlie and Wasabi and then Motley and Ballet Brand and a lot of people were saying is uh, how cheap. We were telling people to buy Ethereum, obviously, for different reasons. <laughs> Some of us for to get Ethereum to buy Hex, but... Um, hey, gas ain't cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I hope you guys bought that cheap Ethereum. It was, I think it was at 24 or 2500 It, it went earlier. less than that. It, yeah. I mean, it was pretty much... I mean, we did get sub 2K Ethereum at one point, didn't we? When it was wicking down, yeah, it went pretty low. But yeah, you're, you're probably you're probably not going to get that again until the cycle is over. Yeah, eighteen fifty eight, not even maybe. Who knows? Well, honestly, nice. If, nice. If you guys can swing it, I I would recommend this. Get to Ethereum, stash them away, especially for wh whether you use Hex or not. If you're going to use Dex as an exit strategy, because obviously we've seen that the only thing that didn't shut down. During this 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 market wide crash was basically just Uniswap. So, you know, Dexes. if if Dex is dude, yeah, <laughs> every single every single centralized exchange shut down during that crash, and that right. that shit's gonna happen again. And next time that shit happens, it's not gonna be you're not gonna have this lovely little bounce like a day or two later. It's gonna be it's probably gonna be the the beginning of the bear market, and you're gonna be fucked. You're, gonna, right. you're not going to have any way to access to your funds. You're not going to be able to position yourself properly for the bear market. The exchange is going to get theirs first, and they're going to fucking dump on your head while you're just sitting there just screaming at your computer. Centralized right. exchanges are not where it's at. Right. And t Yeah, exactly. So um, at least from what I saw on Twitter and everything from people posting like snapshots of how much gas they paid, people who were actually were able to buy the bottom or sell the bottom uh, <laughs> don't pass this. But oh, I, yeah, I don't know. God, cute, cute. This, this was such a kick in the nuts too, because like I thought this dip was at least going to last longer than what, like less than two days. I was getting ready to get a whole bunch of people in, discount everything, and like this morning, I just looked at, it, I was just like, hmm, everything's up twenty eight percent. Sweet, like Jesus. <laughs> like, can you imagine actually panic selling and then coming back like the next day and just be like, well, fuck me, like, yeah. <laughs> Don't can't sell, can't can't be emotionally invested like that. Yeah, right. that's how traders get wrecked for sure. It's pretty it's pretty insane. Like like right now, like even with the Bitcoin to Ethereum price, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin's all time high last cycle was twenty grand. Well, nineteen hundred and some nineteen thousand some change, but let's just call it twenty thousand. And Ethereum is pretty much fourteen hundred. So right now both Ethereum and Bitcoin are both at a two X where beforehand, right? You had Bitcoin at 30 at 40,000. You would have Ethereum something close to like 1100, 1200 in price. So it was really, really undervalued. Now you, what we've seen is actually Bitcoin just kind of stay where it's at. And we've seen Ethereum actually two X on, on it and actually catch up. So right now they're both right now at two X of their last all time highs in from the last cycle, which is pretty, which is pretty interesting and stuff. So, um, that's why how I know we're we're not overheated at all. If you think about it, we're we're at a, we're at a two X from last cycle. Chilling. Who cares? Like, I was like, I was this is what I was telling guys from the, from from all the courses and all the and all the chats and stuff, and I was telling all the hexagons. It's like, eh, 
you know, <laughs> like it's it wasn't that bad. I mean, like it, it, sure, if we were at, if we were twenty times or ten times from the all time highs of last cycle, so that would put Bitcoin at two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. That's a different scenario. A yeah. a th that would put Ethereum somewhere close to fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand, eighteen thousand dollars. That's that's quite significant. We're just lukewarm right now, man. July comes around, EIP fifteen fifty nine goes. That's your that's your freaking ignition to launch right there. That's that's when we go. Now we're heading towards that blow off top, and you're gonna see right. you're gonna see prices that make these prices look like nothing. It's just gonna be chump change, dude. If you if you guys have been paying attention, basically the moment that we started kind of going parabolic with the altcoins was when Ethereum finally said EIP fifteen fifty nine July. We're like, oh shit! And then you started seeing projects pump from Cardano to everything else. Um, the amount of coin that that wasn't that was pretty much pumping before all this was probably just Binance token because they've been pumping this entire uh, bull market and bear market. But it's just been pretty insane because especially once they said you know the 14th as well, that was pretty insane. So. Um, I mean, if you look right here for circulating supply, that's infinite. That'll stay the same, but technically, like... It will uh, become deflationary, especially during the bull market with more transactions taking place, more volume being traded, the more deflationary Ethereum becomes. But yeah. with these goddamn fees, like, shoot, when even with EIP 1559 going off, like, it's going to be... Those fees are going to be stupid. We're going to go back to looking at, like, $150, $300 freaking swaps again like you're gonna have to set limit orders and figure out clever ways like you might have to use centralized exchanges it's just it's just bad it's just bad you just asked if the bull market's over no absolutely no. not yeah no not, it's, not even it's, close it's too early like there's just too much too many good things solana just got added to coinbase but polka dots launching all their parachain auctions eip 1559 is still happening we still haven't had the Bitcoin ETF. Dude, we got a lot of stuff still left on the plate and stuff Hex, before we... Hex has Pulse Chain coming. Like... Pulse has Hex Dude. Chain coming out. Cardano Pulse might launch... Pulse something. has Hex Chain? What's, what's Hex Chain? <laughs> Hex Chain. <laughs> well, up, why don't you take it away, that. Motley? <laughs> no, I like the Willy Wonka movie you played. Right. Well, Motley, you talk about like taking the, uh, the fees away from Ethereum. I mean, that'll at least help subside and like help uh, alleviate some of the fees at least you know if uh, people can transact on a different network and use like other smart contracts on a different network because there's a, a few other smart contracts that use the s load function as uh, heavy as hex does and um yeah it'd be nice to see that be like functional again as opposed to breaking some of the smart contracts and then also just making it like super ridiculously high so that'll be cool yeah, yeah. there are some other projects and i mean at the same time too uh it's fun going over some of the different things they're talking about right now. We, we were talking about last stream, but liquidity farming is definitely something Richard's looking at adding to Pulse Chain and uh, was talk, talking about it with Scotty. Scotty does know on the last stream with the Hex Asians. And we were just talking <laughs> about how liquidity farming is actually really cool as far as giving value to these PRC20s. So yes, the airdrop is amazing. It's gonna be the largest airdrop in the history of crypto but at the same time you still need to give value to these other tokens these prc 20s that are going to be copies of their erc 20 counterparts and liquidity mining help helps does that when you you have your bag over there already right so you have your bag of let's say you have a bag like uh, dc does of uniswap and now you have a pr swap you have a prc 20 of uniswap and you want to go over there and you can get liquidity uh liquidity mining rewards for it if maybe you need to go buy some pulse now because you already have your copy of uniswap so now you get a pump up you get a pump up the price of pulse maybe you want to buy more uniswap to get more rewards that the rewards are are worth it like it helps right. bring value to all these prc 20s and adoptions from other communities so i really the more and more scotty was talking about bringing over liquidity mining it really it really it really makes sense farming farming liquidity is a huge play for these uh, for these new chains and gaining adoption Definitely, man. And um, I, I can't wait till I have a list of which coins are going to come over because I think there's also coins that, that aren't native to Ethereum that are going to jump over mm -hmm. to Pulse. That'd be pretty cool. Like having a Doge Pulse, kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, uh, 
What do you think about wrapped? Because we, we didn't really touch on it too much. Like let's say like a wrap BTC, right? So you get a you would get you would get a copy of wrap BTC, but that's still like a third party, right? Because you have to go through like Ren or um or WBTC. So like they would still have to accept that, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they have to be able to like still peg that to Bitcoin's Te price? Technically they would it would they would have the keys, the admin keys for it, if they had admin keys. Right, which they right. do, I believe. Which the, uh, Ren does, I think, don't they? I think it does. No, I, no, I, I think I, it does. I think it might not, actually. You sure? I'm, I'd have to. I'd have to remember. Get, but, ba get back to us on that one. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. but uh, I think it, they might actually have the keys for it. Ren might not, but but the but the other wrapped Bitcoin is because wrapped because wrapped, wrapped okay. Bitcoin is like is BitGo. Is BitGo as a custodian? As a third-party custodian? Okay. Because I, I thought they Ren were both uh, custodian. But... Well, no, it's because on Ren you just mint you you essentially go to the you go to the contract, deposit your your um your Bitcoin. They charge you a small fee for for converting it over, and then you just take your tokens. And then that that to whoever has custody of that token in that wallet has then custody to then merge it with any other Ren BTC, and then take that Ren BTC back to the bridge and get the Bitcoin out on the other side. So it's like whoever has ownership of coins has ownership of that B of BTC in any combination. Minus the um, minus the fee, basically. Uh, Thanks, AJ. Yeah, it says it's stored based off of a bunch of decentralized nodes requires a stake. Okay. So, yeah. It's not 100% decentralized, but I mean. Does that mean uh, my holdings have doubled? What's up? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get a one for one copy. You'll of get a copy. ERC20s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you have to have them inside of a MetaMask or some kind of a wallet mm -hmm. that you control, a Trezor or a, or a, or a Ledger. Anything you not, have the keys to. Anything you have the keys to and stuff. So even you guys have the keys to my heart. Even some. Yeah, you're not going to get that probably, but. Because <laughs> I I have it, um, <laughs> but the ERC the some of these you gotta be careful though some of these uh, pseudo DeFi projects that you think are actually DeFi aren't and you actually don't own the private keys to some of these projects so just be just be careful what you have and whether or not you actually think you have possession of those tokens because if you don't have if you don't have the private keys then you're not gonna you're not gonna get the copy whether that be you have the coins on an app let's say like Celsius or any sort of yield generating token that requires you to send it to an app, you don't own the keys to that while those coins are over there. So if you want to be, have them for the snapshot, you would have to bring them into a lot, a wallet that you're actually a custodian of. Right. Let's see. Yeah. It's pretty crazy though, but, uh, Hey, uh, Okay, here's a fun question. So, what do you guys think is going to happen to the price of hex? <laughs> go to go to zero. I heard. I heard zero. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard that thing was a scam, man. Fuck that. Zero, shit. zero, zero, zero. Throw some commas in there. Zero, zero. Th throw some more commas. Zero, 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 <laughs> one. Something like that. Something like that. Got it. Got it. Yeah. About a million dollars for hex, you? give or take, right? Yeah. No, I it's can't. uh it's gonna be it's gonna be retarded. It's gonna do it's gonna do amazing things. Um I tried to run, front run uh Richard's stream today just in case the off chance that he released the released the information on the sacrifice phase and when it was gonna be in the details. He did not, so <laughs> I didn't get a front run that pump, but I, I tried. I tried, but we've been pretty much holding steady of where my entry point was. I think it was like 4.9. We've pretty much been around there all day today, but the moment the moment that information gets released, I think we instantly are looking at eight to 10 cents. We'll probably bounce off 10 cents a few times. And then uh, when we when we break wow. through 10 cents, it's just, it's gone. It's, it's freaking, you're going to a quarter, 30 cents very quickly throughout the throughout the sacrifice phase it's just going to be kind of a game of when do you sacrifice your especially if you're holding a bag of hex and you're trying to ride that pump it's just going to be a game of cat and mouse when you actually release those uh those funds and try to maximize your your pulse returns or you decide you want to hold a majority of your hex bag and uh 
make a smaller play on Pulse. It's really up to you. Wow. Solana, I just did the math on Solana. It has an upwards bounce of $200 before it nice. starts hitting resistance to Dogecoin. It's basically there's like it'll pass like the minute it, the minute it's on Coinbase and starts getting some volume, it'll probably do a two x and go to twenty four million, which will take it to like right about here, right under Polkadot. And then if it does, if things keep going good for the Soul season, it'll pass this up a little bit too, but then hit resistance on on Doge. So that's pretty good. What is what is that uh, that bullshit that ICP thing? I saw that that thing just like came out of nowhere. I'm sure it's something where they're just gaming the market cap, yeah. but like. Have you looked into them at all? A little bit. It's like it's basically an insider's club of these these dudes from Wall Street and stuff. They have this giant internet computer, literally the name, where they're they're trying to create some just dis- some giant decentralized version of the internet. I don't know. It seems to me like a little bit of a. I've stayed away from it, man. Yeah. Every time I see it, it just like sketches me out. <laughs> just looking at, it. but I I haven't looked into it at all. But I saw it just jump out of nowhere and just come in the top ten. I was just like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, inside clown posse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a better name. Yeah, better marketing. But it's, it's kind of funny how we've entered. We've entered sort of this weird thing where like we've had the 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 the, the kingdom building and the starter packs and stuff. You know, like you. Know, We've hit, we've hit, we hit the starter pack zone. That's what we've hit. Throw, throw, throw them out of there. Throw, throw the different chains and stuff that. Uh, throw out the Charizard or the Charmander, the Squirtle, the Bulbasaur, the Pikachu. Throw out the starter pack. The Charizard, you mean? No, no, it's not Charizard yet. It'll be. <laughs> it'll, they're they're gonna evolve over the next couple months, but right now there's they're they're just your starters. Right. So so I guess we 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 have to look at Ethereum, right? So basically everyone's trying to be the ETH killer. Right, either whether out of just greed or frustration, right? But so everyone's making their own version of ETH, just because the gas fees are ridiculous, which you can't blame people for, because it's it is kind of it is pretty ridiculous and it prices people out. And there's been a lot of like DeFi tokens, like even Ave is going to make their own chain, dude. Ave is making their own blockchain, dude. Yeah. Shoo, my bag's gonna be happy, but like that's crazy. So so basically, what's going on is um. Let's just say, like, all right, I want to make my own blockchain. What do I do? Okay, Brand's like, okay, I, I'm going to make my own Ethereum. Okay, so I go, I go to Brand. It's like, okay, Brand, this is what we do. We're going to create our own Ethereum. We're going to call it Valiant Brand. That's going to be the state of the coin. Cool. The Brand so, Hammer. The Brand Hammer. So we go, we have the Brand Hammer, which is our now our, our new Ethereum token, our L1 Ethereum token with everything in transaction transacts on brand tokens then from there we're like okay brand now we have now we have our ethereum but oh shit how are we get people gonna buy and sell stuff yo let's make brand swap so brand swaps our other token our other project that's our <laughs> uniswap cool 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 now people can swap back and forth oh shit but how, how are people gonna gamble we need some sort of like a lending platform so, so people can leverage themselves really bad we need some sort of an ave platform yo let's make Ballyet bank Valley Bank, you can borrow on your bal- on your on your brand token. Oh, oh genius! Wow, one hundred x, one hundred x. You got brand right. swap. You got Valley banking. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, we oh okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, but now we need ICO scam. We need ICO scam launcher. What what do we call it? Low. All my all my links IDOs dot com. All my links IDOs dot com is the is the premier place on brand chain to launch your favorite ido's not ico's that's illegal ido it's see it's different if you okay? change out if you change out the letter everyone knows by law you're not protected so right. instead of initial coin offerings they're now initial dex offerings much much better much better yeah and and this is a crazy thing too because originally like all my links dot ido was the main place but what ended up happening is that there was a vampire attack that ended up destroying the network and creating so then eventually brand starter ended up taking over so i know a lot of you guys lost some money and stuff on the whole brand on all my links dot ido and stuff scam but there's you guys still we, <laughs> there's still hope we transitioned over to brandstarter.com i know it's a little bit of a black eye on the network but i have a lot of trust in brand and brand token so we're a-okay you guys next next from there that's and that's typically okay that's i'm so fucking around <laughs> but typically about, I, i've literally got developers working on this right now right now <laughs> right now brand cakes brand, brand swap brand cakes, brand, swap. <laughs> brand cakes that sounds it's all, awesome it's all in the works guys you got you guys can be on the ground floor of brand swap 
Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. So so go over the starter pack. Go go through it. Okay. So basically, the start the real, like seriously. So I, that was an example of what. <laughs> yeah. That was an example. I mean, literally, like that. I know we're. Just but that's what joke. that's what all these chains are doing. Yeah, that's all they're doing. They're like, okay, I, I need an, I need a copy of Ethereum. Cool, cool, cool. I got Ethereum. Nice. Okay, okay. Fuck, we need Uniswap. Yeah. I'll make my own Uniswap. All right, cool, cool, cool. I need an Ave. Okay, I'll make an Ave. Cool. I, I need a derivatives exchange. Ba basically, that's kind of trading and stuff and, like, you know, making like, – basically trading markets to buying and selling and shorting basically that's what, what i'm trying to talk about their versions of whatever synthetics is on them and that's basically kind of the four the four basic uh, pillars that a chain needs outside of maybe like a chain link if they're if they're using chain link they don't need the oracle but uh, a lot of chains maybe something like a cardano is made their own oracle and so are these other chains this could be the year this could be the year that we actually see cardano do some shit maybe maybe they're, so you know something really funny so i bought a token called Charlie three for like pretty cheap and it went up in price <laughs> pretty well. And I was like, wow, I can't believe this thing worked. Let, let them know. <laughs> yeah. I've been, uh, I've been poking my head in there into the chats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good luck, bud. Good luck. Good luck. I hope, it, I hope it goes, if it goes on Cardano, it'll, it'll definitely skyrocket if it's the first dApp that goes on Cardano. But, um, uh, what is it supposed to even do? It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be essentially an oracle system, a decentralized oracle system on, on Cardano. So, and I actually blame. I've had I've had my skepticism about Chainlink for a long time. Mm. That I think we're li we're getting a little too uh, reliant on Chainlink, honestly. But like nobody trusts Band Protocol, which is which is Binance Chain's um, oracle system. Like no one trusts that. It's like. Nice. Give CZ control of your of your price stickers inside of your platform. Come on, bro. First trust. Ever, ever. <laughs> yeah. Run pool city over there, man. Right. Pancake. I heard Pancake Bunny did pretty bad, actually. Yeah, it got it got destroyed, didn't it? I didn't yeah. I didn't follow up with it too much, but it just it just looked like it went straight to zero. All right. Four dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Two, oh damn! This was two hundred eighty dollars. Wow, look at this. Uh, yeah, this is what happens, guys. You dabble in some of this shit. Like it's, it's just a wrap. Damn! Looking ninety percent down. Oof. <laughs> buy, I know. It, buy, I know. It went buy, lower. Buy than the this dip. <laughs> no. No. I. I have a. We. We have a guy. We have a guy in the uh, chats. What his 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 strategy? Do not do this. This is dangerous as fuck. Don't do this. Let me show this. you what not to do. Let me show you not to do step by step. Uh, okay. Uh, what he does is he just keeps his money liquid and waits for coins to get hacked. He wait. He he watches them all day until they bought until they hit like a crate. When something crashes really bad, they usually like do a dead cat bounce. What he yep. does is then buys the buys the coin really cheap. Bounces up, sells it, and then like <laughs> it Bro, walks what the off. Fuck, that's that's so stupid. <laughs> there can, there cannot be much liquidity there to even make those plays. Like, it's, I know, it's so awful, <laughs> it's so bad. But hey, that's a strategy people have, you know. Yeah. He made a he, he said I mean he said he made like a ten x on Pancake Bunny doing that. But you got to be on the minute. You know, yeah, and it's the problem. It's just the these people that get wrecked like this, they got a little bit of hopium and just delusional. They just <laughs> they just try to, they're like, oh, it'll bounce back, it'll bounce back, and then you got people like that that are just like feeding off of it, making a quick buck. Yeah. Uh, what was that? What did you just bring up? What is oh, uh, he said some guy oh, called uh, "Rug uh, War on Rugs" left and rug pulled. Have you seen that YouTube channel? I've heard of it. I've just haven't I haven't watched it. No, first time I've heard about it. Yeah, evidently they they just look at rug pulls and like potential scams and stuff like that. And they rug pulled. <laughs> did they? He says he they did. Oh Jesus! Wow. I saw it, but I didn't know enough uh, enough behind it. But I know uh, Hexo talked about it, and then Richard Hart posted it on his like sub tweet of like you know rug pulls and whatnot. So not too sure about it, but there there's a lot <laughs> just in general, uh, a lot of rug pulls in this space and. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it it's always nice to be in, in assets that don't uh, don't have that happen. That's that's never fun, you know. Talking about a coin that I don't like, Matic at all. I don't 
I don't trust that shit for anything. Light it yeah. pumps, so this is what it is. It's all good until it's not. Right. She be you know, not surprised. <laughs> well, hey, it, re- it reclaimed uh, a decimal place. It was uh, it was back down below uh, to five five zeros there for a second. Look at EOS Hang, stable hanging coin. in there. <laughs> Dash become a stake curve Dow. Yeah, curve got kind of curve stopped, but uh, no no pun intended by Uniswap. Basically, stole a lot of their model. It's kind of crazy. No Litecoin. No. Thirteen, bro. Speaking of you, you how's a wind dump? Wind dump. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. No, uh, how has V three been? I mean, honestly, I don't know much about it besides like the one side liquidity and stuff like this. But do you, uh, how's that it's, been going? You know, it's been going pretty good in terms of, in terms okay. of like all the all the stats and stuff. It's been doing pretty well, but we're still waiting for like optimistic rollups supposedly launching in mm. like five days. Five if days. They can, if they can actually bring cheaper gas fees. That'd be pretty impressive. I think they would. They would. Con- they would pretty much secure their lock on the, on the dexes if they can do that. <clears throat> oh damn! I mean, he, yeah, yeah, he deleted yeah. his Twitter and everything. Jesus! Yeah. He's wow. Uh, soon it'll be DCC's turn. <laughs> Just pull the rug on you guys. Yeah, V3. V, like honestly, V3 was supposed to do it. Was supposed to have more of a UI and stuff and everything and change. But I mean, it did. It did make it harder. It, basically, it's like you you would get you get less slippage on Uniswap than you do anywhere else. Basically, especially with big order. So it's it is better, but it's just like I don't know. It could have I mean, been done I, better. During during all that mess, I was just I was just setting the limit orders in Matcha dot X Y Z, and that was it was really nice. Like really simple uh interface like my orders filled pretty pretty easily like it was a uh, i really i really enjoyed it all the buyers had to pay my insane gas fees it's great yeah that's the nice thing about limit orders is you set it at the the price you want and yeah you can definitely get um a lot more tokens than you would as opposed to like a, a market order because then you'd also be driving the price up on yourself too yeah, BW just said he was really happy with the stability of sell and hex during the dip. Um, getting more hex on the cheap would have been sweet. Yeah, for sure. I got a I got a really nice buy order right at four cents, so I was, I was pretty happy about that. So you're the one that sold on the price. I knew it. Yeah, that's me, bro. I'm buying a big old big old bag. I wish I actually bought more at four cents too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got I got a little greedy. Got a little greedy. It's been holding like the most recent pump uh, pretty pretty well. I'm surprised. Yeah, like when I when I had my limit order at four cents, like I was I was just watching it, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of orders in place around around that price level, and then even as of late, we've been pretty holding pretty strong right at five cents. Like I, I think we're ready for like a very very quick two uh, x, just pretty much immediately on the. On the information being released about the sacrifice phase, I think mm-hmm. it's almost an instantaneous two x. It'll be very quick. Yeah. So if you're not if you're not in or you don't get the news fast enough to secure your position, you're probably gonna get uh, left poor. behind on that initial initial jump. What's that? I mean, just say it, Molly. You're gonna be poor. Just you're say it, poor. Molly. You'll you're stay poor, poor, bro. Stay you're poor. Not gonna, you're not gonna make it, bro. I don't want you guys to stay poor. Though. I want you to want, want you to get your bags and get it now. Ow, motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, Motley, like... I just opened my knife into my leg. That was sweet. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, playing around with it. <laughs> oh, my little, God, Motley. A little, little too close. Now we're good. We're good. It's only... It's but a flesh wound. Hey, Bran, like, look... look all right. So, do, do you have a liquid bag right now? Oh, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, of course. For uh, Especially Blast for Bulls, man. I mean... Get rid of him. Get, ri- get rid of him. Okay. Not a <laughs> shame. Not true hexagon. <laughs> Take him off the screen right now. Well, How dare you. Well, let me tell you this. I mean, as someone that's had like up to like 99% of my total portfolio staked, I mean, right now it's probably like 88%, something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely... Definitely sitting pretty good for the sacrifice phase. I mean, w- whenever it happens, I'm totally cool with. But uh, it, it's nice to have the T-shares that, that I've got and just multiply that by the uh, the share rate. And, yeah, yeah, I definitely got a liquid bag. I mean, you know, it's just like uh, I had mentioned, like, it was like 
buying Hex at day one, but that's actually not true. It's like because because day one you kind of got screwed since of the uh, the over ratio, but uh, it's kind of like Pulse is going to be like buying Hex early at least, you know, on like day thirty three it was the lowest on uh, January fifth, and so yeah, I'm definitely um, going to be going in uh, in a decently big way. I mean, right. we'll see on how the the tier system works, but I mean anyone that's yeah, I don't know. Fifty to hundred k would would be pretty good. No, I'm I'm excited for a lot of um, maybe not necessarily OG hexagons or um, people that have just recently bought hex. I'm excited for them to come in on the ground floor of Pulse and get experience. Essentially, a lot of the same community, a lot of the same stuff we got to experience when we came through with hex originally. And like it was, uh, it just allows you to grow together. And like there's some there's something really unique about being on the ground floor of a really big. Um, project that does very that's very ends up being very successful and i think uh who i don't know exactly what pulse is going to do but i i'd be very surprised if it doesn't do do exceptionally well so everyone has that opportunity to dip their toes in and be the first first ones in on the ground floor like you have plenty of time now start prepping for it um because anytime richard could just say hey it's a go tomorrow so get it get it ready now become a become a pulse whale Will. I mean, he did say that, like, not financial advice, but like having a third of niche would be probably a good idea. A what? He, uh, Richard said, you know, and not financial advice, but like having a third hex, third pulse hex, and, and a third pulse would probably not be a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, that one, it's not possible for the, for most of the OGs, at least just with how most of our stuff is staked out but uh yeah. well that's that's you are you do get a third you get a copy huh? of your yeah, yeah 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 never mind you get a copy that's right i yeah. thought he meant like buying more but yeah i think you're gonna be able to there's always gonna be a dip if you have if you're ready and the dip comes bro we know. were we what do you think the chances are of ethereum 2.0 being contentious and uh being a hard fork and we get another copy of our hex our ethereum hex i'm ready <laughs> wow let's do it say the say the miners disagree and uh they they fight that shit and we end up just getting two more we have another fork of ethereum and then we just have another copy of hex <laughs> so we have three we have three hexes call it gangadora oh <laughs> just money printers for days all the t-shares all the t-shares just three x three extra t-shares doing nothing Hell yeah, man. You guys want to answer some questions from chat? Yeah. Let's do it, man. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. Let's see, chat. You guys have any questions, man? Spam it away. Yeah, start spamming questions. Uh... How does Hex compete with Polkadot? Hex compete with Pol Polkadot? They're two different, two different things. I was going to say, I mean, Polkadot, not necessarily, they're not uh, doing a a whole fork of the Ethereum system state to, to my knowledge. I mean, I know they support like the solidity smart contracts and whatnot to my knowledge, but uh, I don't think anything on pulse chain. That'd be a better, better representation. I, I might've said hex, but I meant pulse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chris, we're doing, I'm doing a webinar with Charlie on Friday. We're just trying to cement the time, but it's probably going to be around the same time the stream started 20 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Plan for it. Is that a like, is that for your course or is that open to everyone or what? The, the that's that that's open for all the people who bought the last course. Okay. Gotcha. We were we, we, we were originally going to do a like a flash webinar on V3 Uniswap, but they didn't release some of the features they said they were going to release. Because they were we were going to teach people how to do limit orders and do all this other cool stuff, and they, they, the the UI was supposed to be changed. Like, dude, yeah, I was a little disappointed with V3, but I still hold my tokens. And I'll just get my copy and I'll just dump it. I'll dump it for more pulse later. Plan L for late. <laughs> <laughs> throw, uh, throw, start throwing some of these uh, questions up there. Okay, let's see this one. Is, is there any point in sacrificing hex if you only have a small stack of hex? Well, what, what are you else are you going to sacrifice? I mean, you got to think, you got to look at your bags. If you have a bigger bag of something else, then maybe you, it'll, if you're going to sacrifice it anyway, I mean, I think right now would probably be a, not a terrible time to convert it to Hex because we're yep. probably going to get a price appreciation Ride on Hex. Pump. Ride the pump. 
So this is, this is what I'm recommending for a lot of my no coiners or people even coming into the hex for the first time because you're you're not going to be as in a good position as like a hex OG, obviously, right? Because we already have our staking ladders set up, so you're in a you're in a little bit more of an interesting position. What I've been recommending most most my new onboards into hex is to essentially get enough hex to get three three key stakes. Try to get somewhere between the five year, 10 year and 15 year mark. Try to get those three key stakes in. After that, keep a, keep a liquid bag, a decent sized liquid bag, get it acquiring this sooner rather than later so you can enjoy the pump. As we start to pump, you can, your bags got your USD value of your bag is gonna increase. So you're gonna be able to sacrifice less of your hex for pulse because you're able to ride, ride that pump up. So whereas, Maybe you were going to plan on sacrificing half your hex bag or maybe the full hex bag. Maybe now you only have to sacrifice half of it or a quarter of it to get the same USD value you wanted to commit to pulse. And then after that, you now have three good key stakes that are going to earn you a pretty insane APY, well over 40%. You're going to have your pulse position. And then you're going to have, you're still going to have a good chunk of your hex bag left over because you bought it now and you got to ride the pulse up or the pulse up, the pump up. And after the sacrifice phase ends, then you'll still have hex left over for the snapshot. So then you'll get a copy of your staked hex, your liquid hex, you have your pulse play. You can even, after we get through the sacrifice phase, once you're content with your pulse position, you can even just go ahead, turn that hex into uh, additional stakes that'll be copied over and continue to fill out more rungs on your ladder. So that's that's essentially what I've been recommending everyone that's been coming in new so they can be as flexible as possible, essentially get best of both worlds, get your hex stakes in, get them copied, keep some liquid hex, get, get your position and pulse, and then you're able to spend a fraction of your hex bag if you bought it early enough as you ride the pump up to get your pulse position. And then you can still save your hex bag for liquid plays as far as profit taking goes, or if you want to fill out more of your ladder, it just gives you a lot of different options and maneuvering throughout this whole cycle that we're about to go through in the hex right. ecosystem. Yep. Sorry. That was a very long winded way of <laughs> telling you what to do with this smaller bag. Right. You basically have to be nimble with it and, ho and yep. just catch it. And not, you're not really trading, but you're just catching opportunities. Riding the waves. Is, yeah. Riding the waves and stuff. Swing trade, not swing trading, but something like that. So, do you see any macro thoughts about Biden administration putting IRS eyes on crypto or 10K swaps neutral? I mean, it does matter at all. It's going to be really, 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 really not good, probably. That's not good for all I, of us. I think they said the time frame was uh, 2023. So, that gives you time to make your gains during this bull, this bull market and then start planning your exit strategy. Start a... Uh, not your exit strategy from crypto, but maybe your exit strategy from uh, minimizing your, your tax deductions, if not eliminating them completely by different citizenship. Puerto Rico, a lot of hexagons are looking at. Um, Portugal has zero crypto taxes. Um, there's some stuff you can do in Asia, uh, the Caribbean. There's all kinds of different tax havens and different ways you can protect your gains. But um, the Zulu start, Nation. Start, start, start looking at that now as opposed to later. Yeah, in terms of the airdrops, you, there is no minimum. You just have to have some coins on there, and you'll get a copy. Yeah. Yep. So you you could have one hex, and you'd be like, I got one pulse hex. I rich now. Yes. Mad gains. <laughs> Mad gains. I am thinking about buying a state in the United States. I'm not sure which one yet. So you're gonna oh, you're gonna buy one of the states. You're not gonna buy the whole thing. I'm looking at what I'm looking at what's in my DCC price range. DCC for president. <laughs> soon, bro. I'd, soon. I'd vote for you, bro. Thank you. Oh shit! I almost said my slogan. I almost forgot. Almost a band. Wait, hold oh, no, Let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Wisconsin. Yeah. Might buy Nebraska. So what I do is I, I buy the I buy one of the shittier you know states in the block. I buy it, I, f I uh, fix it up, I flip it and stuff, and then I just work my way up until I am president. Aircoin, I don't know if you're. I think you're asking me if I'm a nuke. 
I mean, mm-hmm. I think that's what you're trying to say. Although it's usually abbreviated in UC, but yeah, in the Navy, I do uh, the nuclear engineering program. I think that's what you're asking. I'm not sure. Whose comment? What's that? Oh, whose comment was that? Uh, Ericoin. Oh, okay, okay. Got it. I'm waiting for DC to throw more questions up. But oh yeah, my bad, my bad. It's just I'm reading all this like them talking about buying Wisconsin for the milk. Dollar cost is an next president. You goddamn right. <laughs> I'll be governor first, then I'll be then I'll be president. You might not want to move up after governor. Governor, I feel is like just enough power, enough cushion, yeah. not too much responsibility. Definitely. It's like a sweet put, spot of politics. And you can just sit there forever on your ass, <laughs> not doing anything. Well, I don't know about that, though. I mean, I'm going to be pretty busy. The, the state the state of California is pretty fucked up. Yeah. We, <laughs> pretty fucked yo, up, bro. Yo, tell, tell, tell them about your plan if you uh, end up becoming mayor of, uh, of California to help with the taxes. <laughs> oh, bro. It's it's so Like, you see the book of laws? I'm just going to do this. Chuck them into a fucking dumpster. <laughs> Lighter fluid. Where's the shit. fire? Right. <laughs> Light it up. Flat tax on everything. Um, no, do all tell, kinds of cool. You got to create a crypto portfolio for uh, California. Just do some yield farming. Never, uh, no more taxes. No more state taxes for California. Be great. Definitely. I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the the economic energy of California to then steal a lot of the economic mass and power from the rest of cryptocurrencies <laughs> and boost up the state world domination yeah uh is pulse going to be a two coin system uh we're not sure yet flames uh richard's kind of played back and forth between the two um i think one coin be simpler and he's kind of uh, alluded to that but at the same time i think uh if richard is serious about adding um liquidity farming i think that's better suited for a two token system since uh since pulse token is going to be deflationary and there's going to be a set supply starting off you kind of need that second coin to be have some sort of inflation system in place so it can be used as a as the rewards for your liquidity farming so i think if he decides he wants to go through with liquidity farming i think it'll end up being a two token system but that mm-hmm. hasn't been confirmed or denied yet so i mean Let's just and meanwhile, pretending. DC's on ro- the Rolex page this whole time. <laughs> All right, bro. Let, let me walk you through some ro- Rolexes. So here you go. Date. You can get a cheap date just. They're basic <laughs> as fuck. But you can get it. You can get it on the cheap. Bling it out. You don't have to worry about destroying the destroying the value. Because it so, has none. Yeah, it has it has like no value out of the Rolexes. They're they're a dime a dozen as far as the, as far as that goes. So, it's a it's a fun cheap Rolex to bling out so you can just be obnoxious with it. How much? Like ten to twenty, five to ten, something like that. Let's, let's oh check yeah, it out. You, yo, you should get the date just lady. Uh, you can get them. Okay, yeah. Four, four, four and seven thousand. Yeah, see there you go. Okay. Like five thousand. Well, these them. aren't that bad. Nope. Yeah, you can you can get them pretty pretty basic for about five thousand, five thousand, seven thousand. I do like that background right there. That looks kind of nice. With this box, yes, papers, yes, you see. So it's so it's you know you know they're born here in the states. That's, that's you really know, important. R- Richard talked about there being like a Rolex, like a market cap, like like a chart that you can actually uh, do versus the dollar, and and that beats the inflation of like three percent a year. So I thought that was like kind of interesting, yeah. and you know that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Yeah. Let's get you a latest yeah. day, just bro. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's see. That's kind of that one's kind of nice. Where's that Daytona Motley? I was thinking the same thing, man. And his looks similar to the uh, the the, ta- the Daytona, but it's not as like rainbowy. You know, it's just like a two tone or few tone color. I'm telling you, you Richard cheaped out on us. Yeah, go to the Daytonas real quick, uh, DC. Daytona, where yeah, are they at? Those top, are nice. Top right. Dude. Yep, right there. I don't know if they're even going to show their uh, rainbow Daytonas on here. Yeah, you might have to. They may have to. Yep. I don't, search that I don't like any of these, actually. Yeah, they're pretty trash. Well, I like Daytonas. That. I actually want one of the, probably a Panda for my first Rolex. I'll probably either do a Panda Daytona or um, a Milgauss, just to be different, and it's not that expensive. So. Got it. S- Sky Dwellers are pretty good. Um, Submariners. Submariners. That's not bad. You That's never not bad. Get, 
you literally never go wrong with some Mariners. Yeah, I really like the yellow gold uh, blue combinations. So that's a. Uh, too, I yeah. Believe this is the flat blue f- uh, face is called a blueberry, I think, and then the the glossy blue face are called Smurfs. Or maybe I got that backwards. I can't remember. Right. I mean, if you guys if we, if we really rationalize this, it's only thirty eight T shares. I mean, it's it's. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all I got to do is just wait for one stake and then just take t-shares, the whole thing and just T-shares used to be a dollar and 60 cents and now they're I know. over a thousand. I know. They're almost $1,000, <laughs> right? They're now. over a thousand. So I mean, we're talking about like, you know, this is recurring income. I mean, I you know, this is the dangerous shit when you start getting into crypto for a long time. You could start rationalizing really stupid shit if you're not careful. <laughs> I was I was talking to some of the guys I onboarded uh, today, and I was just like, yeah, like all like when I when I like move in and out of positions, I'm like, yeah, there goes a small sedan, or yeah, that's a that's a this kind of Rolex, or this is a paddock uh, position, or <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> the numbers just start getting crazy after a while. I, I forget who mentioned it. It might have been DCC, but uh, you can like check on your individual Ethereum wallet on how much <clears throat> gas you've spent in like. Oh. One of the wallets that I may or may not have seen or, or known about was like fucking fifteen thousand dollars. It's like, Oof. okay, <laughs> you know, to your point, like, and and that's just like one of many. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, Pulse Chain, come save us. <laughs> I don't want to be wasting a whole bunch of money to middlemen when I could be spending I, it on I, the cord. I like this one. This is another really great one. Two as well. two tone two tones are yeah. a hit or a miss for me. Some t- sometimes I I feel them, other times I just don't like them at all. It it depends. Two two tones aren't as popular, so usually you can get a little bit of better deal on two tone uh, Rolexes. Yeah, that's pretty good. But obviously, if you're just trying to bling out, you don't, you'll always get something like this, some gold on it and stuff. You know that? Shoo! That looks nice. Yeah, I would rock that. Yeah. So yep. you got Kermit's, Hulk's, blueberries, Smurfs. Uh, wait, wait, would you yeah. just click on one of these? Uh, I think I called day date by accident. Oh, day dates. Okay, yeah. Mm. What else do I have? Yacht Masters, Sky Dwellers, Squad, Sky Dwellers are pretty. Oh, actually, go back real quick. Okay. Whoa. Go to uh, Milgauss right there, bottom left, second over. So these are kind of funky looking Rolexes because they're kind of not their norm. Scroll down to the Z Blue. Uh, oh, wait, do they not have the Z? Wow, they don't even have another page. So they have, so this is different because this is actually an engineer's watch. So it's called a Milgauss. Um, it's to protect, it's essentially in a, a cage to protect it from magnetism because engineers actually used to, uh, used to wear these watches. So I think up to a thousand gauss, this watch is supposed to be protected from. And uh, it's kind of an interesting watch because the sapphire glass has actually got this green tinge to it. And if you look at the second hand, it's actually a lightning bolt. So it's a very peculiar oh, yeah. looking Rolex. A lot of people, some people either hate it or really like them. But uh, I think they're actually going to discontinue them soon. So these will probably these will probably jump up from about nine thousand, ten thousand right now to about fifteen to twenty thousand once they get discontinued. They have a they have one with a very very nice looking blue dial that I want. Hmm. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, it's right there. I don't know why. I don't know why it wasn't showing up when you uh, clicked on it. I thought it would. It's a new arrival. Sky dwellers are pretty popular. Yacht masters are getting there. Um, There's only two in here. Yeah, the the blue dial is the one you want. Blue. Yeah. You pretty much any any luxury watch you guys get. If you get the blue dial variant, they're almost always the most uh, price appreciating of watches. Blue dials are very very popular. That's a pretty cheap Rolex right there. Yeah, you can't get rid of Lady Rolexes. That's why. <laughs> if you guys, if you guys go to a, an AD, um, th- essentially to get the good watches, you have to buy a bunch of their shit stock that they can't get rid of. So you have to buy like you're gonna have to buy your girl a Lady Rolex or um, buy like a stupid Datejust or something that no one really they stuff they can't essentially move. You have to buy that to get the good stuff. Yeah, that's not that bad. Not sure. too bad. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. That's cool. Yeah, watches are cool. I mean, but they're just basically some kind of fashion. It's just a fashion statement. So. I like that. I like that yacht master bottom left. I yeah. What, no, no, but bro, dude, you're left. <laughs> oh, what they said. Sorry. Wait, what? Yeah, 
I forgot uh, I forgot what that one's called, but I like it. It's like a it's almost like a steel gray with like the blue accents. It looks really nice. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But the the opportunity cost of taking any of your profits out right now for a freaking watch is just I can't bring myself to do it. Yeah. I know a lot. I know a lot of hexagons have right now. Richard's kind of like started that trend, but that that ten grand, that fifteen grand, that twenty grand goes a long way in a bull market. Yeah. So, Black Magic, it's only a couple Celsius tokens, bro. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is. I mean, like, let me show, like let's, let's just say I bought that Rolex, right? With a thirty-eight thousand dollar Rolex. Like, I know for a fact if I took that money. And this is the problem is that is like you'll because we're really good at we're good capital allocators. I could turn that to thirty eight thousand dollars at the end of the year to something close to about three hundred and eighty to like maybe seven hundred thousand dollars in a year. Like legitimately, I know I could do that. So it's this whole thing where like shit. <laughs> and then from there you're like okay I'll spend a little bit but then then you go like well I'll do that 38,000 and I could spend it again and turn that into like another 150,000 as well if the market continues so it's just this whole thing where like you're just like it's always a bad investment because you're you're better off allocating it into, into productive assets basically but you do but the, the whole point of like Rolexes and a lot of the stuff is to signal theory or whatever basically you're just showing that you have so much disposable income that like you could it, it's it's basically like it's supposed to be a hurtful signal to make it that's what makes it legitimate is that you're you're wasting that this much money it's like I have so much money that I'm wasting money on this stupid shit to let you know that I got that I got it like that basically Flames, uh, man, I just want to talk about watches now. Flames, uh, ta tags are they're they're pretty good. Um, they're a nice like low entry watch, but I mean, if you're gonna get a tag, I would probably just upgrade a little bit more and get a Tudor. Um, they're essentially um, a they're like they're owned by Rolex now, and they're they're almost on par with the same quality. They just don't have the same brand recognition just yet. So I probably upgrade a little bit from a tag and get a get a Tudor. But tags tags aren't bad. What do you think about the GMT Master Two right there? Uh, sorry, I'm not looking. Where? What? Which one? Bottom left, second to the left. Oh, uh, rose gold's a hit or miss with me. I'm more if I'm gonna get a rose gold watch, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a paddock. I'm gonna get a blue dial paddock with like a rose gold uh watch. The rose gold on the on the Rolexes, I don't know for some reason it just doesn't do for me. I would do. Rolex My Grail watches essentially get the platinum platinum Daytona with the uh, diamond baguettes for the hour markers. That's my that's my Grail piece. It's going for like a buck, yeah. somewhere between a one thousand twenty to a one hundred one hundred twenty thousand to like one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Or we just spend more money and just get a GTR or some shit <laughs> like get a cool car yeah, I, got I, mean, a, I have yeah. a watch obsession so <laughs> i probably i probably get the watch and then you know it's kind of cool about like a watch though right too it's uh you don't lose if you buy the right watch you don't lose money in the asset and it's you essentially can carry your carry your capital with you just like your crypto you can go anywhere right. in the world it's the same thing i can carry i, I can yeah. literally keep a hundred and fifty thousand dollar uh bill on my wrist at any time and let's say shit just hits the fan and like, I just need to restart my life and investments and everything like that. That's, that's something I can liquidate relatively easy and quickly and, uh, just get me back up on my feet pretty instantaneously, all just from something I can wear on my wrist. Whereas GTR or something like that, it's, it's going to depreciate to some degree and it's going to be, it's going to be harder to move. And it's just not as a, uh, it's not as liquid. It's not, you don't have the ability to just take that wherever you go. No, I, I I got you. Yeah, I mean, there's that whole there's that whole thing. I forgot what it's like a man. I'm not sure if you said this or something. There was a story. You should always carry a nice watch because if you ever get kicked out of your girl's place, I remember hearing some story <laughs> like that. Like, like that was not my um, story, but no, yeah, <laughs> I like it must where have been a good story. I, I, it was from a watch master or something. He's like, I remember my my watch, like my father or my mentor once told me, is like, you always have a nice watch because exactly what you just said just in case you get into a tough spot and you're kicked out of a place you can just sell the watch and have enough money to have an apartment in a tv or something yeah. like that yeah if, if you buy the right one they're 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 decent assets to hold i mean honestly if you're gonna do it 
start off with a good Rolex that uh, not only maintains its value, but appreciates. So like you really can't go wrong with any of the Daytonas. So I think with the Daytonas, you usually you're going to you're going to come out on top. And no, Chuck, I, I hate Hublots. You can you can buy you can buy a Hublo for like 80 percent off retail. Like they don't hold their value at all. Black Magic has the point right there. Just take What's a up? fucking loan on your Celsius token and buy it. <laughs> God damn it, I probably am. Yeah, we want to bring it back to uh, crypto. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I no, you know, just full FYI, I tried really hard to get Celsius to get hex on there and stuff, but uh, it was shot. It was shot down. Not it's by a, not, not by Celsius. I I will tell you that yeah. much. Not by okay, Celsius. Okay. okay. The meeting happened. It just didn't happen my way. It's it's weird. Uh, forfeit over your hex so essentially give up the possession of your keys and turn it over to, to a company that's going to earn you yield when the tokenomics of hex already earn you that yield um without centralization so it, it, it's kind of a bit of an oxymoron but i know what you're talking about you essentially just wanted a way to get a loan on your hex right it's for financial services too and then all right. never fucked with us at all we might have some luck with something called like uniland possibly might fuck with us a little bit yeah. in, ter in terms of the hex side in terms of this right. pulse side but you you guys if we, if we want to take hex to the next level we need a lending and borrowing market we just do period because just for all the tax benefits we get from you know like if maybe we don't we just hit good accounting and we don't hit that tax hit this is another way for us to be able to have be able to borrow on our liquid hex without selling it and be able to buy stuff and not take tax hits because it's loaned income too i really 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 want that urus so I <laughs> <laughs> and i mean just be just be smart because a lot of you guys are going to become whales in these in these cryptocurrencies if you're not already there or like working your way up there so like be a good be a good uh caretaker of like your largest bags like don't yeah don't do market sales like set set limit orders don't hurt the price um protect protect certain price floors like be be start learning how to be a good whale because if you guys have large bags and stuff it's it's on you guys to maintain and protect those bags in the future right uh flames wants to know if you have a sneaker collection uh dc oh i do it's sick you seem like you'd be a sneaker guy i could see that i got shoes i just i just bought some um well, it's, it's a sneaker, but I bought I bought some Louis Vuitton boots and stuff recently as well. Nice. Did you really? Yeah. You got to start posting them, man. Like, uh, show that what shit the, off like Richard does. What the fuck do Louis Vuitton boots look like? They're like Chelsea boots and stuff. They're like these. Uh, they, they essentially copied a Mexican-style boot, accordion boot. And I saw it, and I was like, fuck, this shit looks sick. So I had, to, I had to get it. I got it in Vegas. And then I also got – I actually was shopping at Balenciaga the other day. How, how was that? that the other day? What? Oh, Vegas? Yeah. How, yeah. How are the how are how are the how are the prices for like luxury mm -hmm. items out there? Because I was I'm I'm probably am gonna poke my head into a few of the Rolex dealers just to see what they have. But oh. I was curious like how the it's prices on nice. um, luxury items are out there. Well, well, it will luxury price. I mean, they're just the same everywhere. It's more just selection of stuff you can't get in other places. Um, in terms of like for but for big guys, like I mean, I'm like I'm I'm six foot one. Eh. Jacked. Jack, <laughs> Jack, two hundred and fifty nine pounds. You yeah. know what I mean. Uh, the the only really luxury brand that I know that fits me really well, obviously, is like um, with Louis Vuitton is pretty good for shoes and, and some other stuff and uh, accessories. But in terms of like some of their clothes, uh, good luck <laughs> trying to fit into it. Um, yeah. Balenciaga is the spot if you guys want. If you're you're a bigger guy and stuff, whether it's weight or height, and so Balenciaga is like they're. The, I I'm a medium in Balenciaga. Bro, I'm a medium. A medium? Um, yeah, Balenciaga's for the big boys, bro. bro I fuck with that, it heavy. That shit, that shit reminds me of, like the opposite. Like when I lived in Japan and shit. Like I had to, I had to go up like two sizes to like to fit into clothes. Like usually I'd be like a large, and I'm like having to look at like double XL in Japan because like they're, <laughs> their their larges in Japan were like borderline like mediums. Like <laughs> it, it, it was bad. It was really. I remember like I was like trying to figure out like my clothes sizing. I was like, fuck, like you almost have to go up like two sizes uh over. Dude, yeah. Different countries definitely, like you mentioned, have have uh different sizes and especially when it's like a different system like centimeters versus uh you know, large XL, stuff like that. So Right. 
Let me see if can't I can find. Can't see Miguel wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. I, I did that one time before. I did that one time before. Fuck never that again. Shit. Never again. <laughs> I like to. Those things. Yeah. I, I like to have room down below. I don't. No, thank you. <laughs> no thanks. I never understood that shit. <laughs> so, anyways, how how was Vegas besides the uh, Balenciaga shop? I mean, like, uh, what was the event that you're going to? Wasn't it the uh, like the masculine conference, something like that? No, no, that's 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 in um, I would say that's in about 14 days. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. I just went I just went there to go kind of like party and just have fun. Where where do you uh, stay if you don't mind? Like, or... oh uh, yeah, I stayed at the, I stayed at the Cosmopolitan. Nice, dude. Yeah, I, I've never been, dude. Uh, Hex Vegas is going to be like the first time, but tell you what, man, it's going to be uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Uh, how uh, it, how what how was Cosmo? Was it good? Uh, I loved it. I, it was dope. It was really dope because it, it was it was going to be Cosmo, Bellagio, or Aria for me. So it was between those three. So it it just depends on what you want to do party wise and stuff. I mean, obviously the the, the Cosmo's scene. Cosmo's good party scene, right? Yeah, the Cosmo and Aria is where you want to be for parties. Okay. Nice, it's, nice. It, yeah, it's it's definitely I, where you want to be. I, I did Bellagio. I think it is a little bit more of an older crowd, but I just I've never been to Bellagio yet, so I wanted to check it out. So if you stay at the Cosmo, you're right across the street. Like at least the, the what I got, I got a room where I was overlooking the entire fountains and everything. Nice, that's and cool. It's sick. Like base, I really would recommend either the Cosmo probably for if you for that view and stuff. Just make sure that you're getting towards the Bellagio side, and you see everything. It's it's beautiful, dude. That's cool. It really is. I, I I can't recommend it enough to you guys because it's like every night you just get to see like the lights of Vegas. You get the whole that like it's it's the most impressive view right there. I'd also probably recommend if you guys want to do too, you should go to the Stratosphere and and go to the uh, top of the world top of the world restaurant. The food's a little meh, but the view is yeah. insane, dude. It's like it's such a basically you're sitting down in a giant like table like this, and what's going on is that you're actually moving like this slowly. Yeah, is it, is it like the uh, the Seattle Space Needle, right? Like the the stratosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know the uh, the Hex Conference was originally going to be there, and then there was like 180 Hexicans going, so like they got to change venues or something. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 and stuff like. Um... Wait, wait, say this again. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you mentioned the stratosphere, and like, is yeah. it like a knockoff or not knockoff, but like it's a replication of like the similar to the Space Needle? Can't you like, uh, like. Uh, bungee jump off yep. something like that. Yeah, we we were eating and we saw some <laughs> people at that, fucking dude. at like eleven at night going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, "What the fuck?" I got, I got, I probably would, my drunk ass probably would have done that back in the day, but now I got hex steaks to live live for. Yeah, so dude. I'm not gonna go trust the freaking minimum wage paid maintenance guy and like uh, teen guy, like some like eighteen year old kid that doesn't give a fuck to do it my harness and shit. Like I'm good, <laughs> especially at that time of night, like. Like three in the morning, something like that. Like, geez. Yeah. dude, there's some, there's some baddies. There's some baddies that would cost me. I bet, Mario, bro, I bet. Bro, bro. bro, I, I wish, I, I wish, you, I wish you were going out there when the hexagons are going out there. I, dude, I want to, dude, but I, but I have got commitments. I have to, like, you know, I gotta. What, what, what days are? What? So does it actually overlap with the course? It, it does. So the the course we start sales for the course um, next month on the tenth, and okay. then the course starts on the eighteenth. The to course what? is to what? It's it's ten days. Oh my god! Yeah. <sighs> Blame Maddie for that, not me. I thought weren't you guys supposed to start the course earlier or no? I thought you guys initially were starting earlier than that. So so we we were, but we moved it because of the uh, the the conference that's happening at the beginning of the month. See that guys. DC doesn't care about you hexagons. He, he said, no, no, no. He said, I, this is... fuck your Vegas trip. The, this was pre-planned, man. I was, I'll, I'll, we'll fly out and we'll do some other stuff. We'll be I'm fine. Me I'm messing with you. Yeah, I, I already told you. We'll just go somewhere in the fucking... We'll, <laughs> we'll go, like, overseas. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck yeah. you easy. guys, be be fucking careful around the Strat. No, no, it's serious. Fuck, dude. Around the dude, Strat? It, yeah, isn't it, it on, like, that? Isn't it, like, the end of the Strip? Like, it's dude, not... It tell is us dangerous. more. Tell us more. No, no, it is dangerous. No, dangerous. <laughs> DC says that shit's seedy, and Brent's like, "Tell me more. I need to know." <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, getting it, security. Seriously, man, shit. I'm on. I'm on higher. Go. Uh, do, do, okay, the, if, you, if you go to <laughs> if you go to Stratosphere, do not park. Go fucking valet. Don't be a cheap ass. And most times it's actually free. Just dude, do I'm it. not driving, man. Fuck that. I'm taking like Uber the whole time. Like, 
Yeah. Nope. Just always have them drop you off at the front of the cause any casinos and stuff that keep yourself safe, dude. Like all the other casinos Especially are just fun. Especially if you it's, win it's, some money. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 Disneyland for the most part over here on the strip and stuff. But um, you, the Strat, it's around the really 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 rough neighborhood. I mean, literally, it is nice. like, co- I mean, crack crack like dens or like basically it's like these it's all a bunch of near there it's a bunch of rundown buildings and shit and it just looks kind of trashy but as soon as you start going up into the strata the strata starts getting really fancy and nice it's it's so weird it's it's That's this weird. whole thing it's really weird where like you're literally in the pot like when you enter the casino it looks like it looks like a regular casino look but a little low end and then you mm-hmm. start going up 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 the, up the elevators and stuff into the strata and then it starts getting more fancier and nicer and, and you're just like but when you're at the top of the world you're basically at like like almost like um you're a socialite like socialite at the height of new york or something like it looks really yeah. fancy it looks super nice and stuff and then it's just like damn that was some seedy shit there at the bottom floor <laughs> you know what i mean it's really it's weird it's like yeah i know what you mean yeah it's like your top of the pyramid like literally that's how it feels people, people are saying it's a lot scarier than the actual bungee jumping <laughs> yeah no no they're that crack, that that crack bad. it's that cra- fucking dude. bad it's bad, dude. dude. I was me, me and my girl were driving around. We're like, oh my fucking god, dude. I, th- I thought I thought about like uh, concealed carrying out there, but at the same time, like I'm probably gonna be wasted half the time, so I can't Don't, even can't even carry just, my firearm. Yeah, dude, yeah. shit. I'll, I'll hire a bodyguard before that, man. Uh, never, I never stay at circus circus. Dude. Never stay at circus circus. Just don't fucking do it. Brands over here balling out. I'm got got my own driver. Get my security. <laughs> Okay, Dude, hex, hex whale yeah, over here. No regrets, man. <laughs> Brand's gonna have fucking secret service falling around. In, I got uh, a body cam though, and, you know, shit, man. We'll, we'll get all of the the good stuff going. So, uh, no yeah. homeless people better try and rob me, man. Shit. Yeah, because you're gonna film the shit yeah, out yeah. of them as they shank you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it's like a uh, yeah. Brad's gonna be Brad's gonna be getting mugged. He's gonna be yelling at him. I have a body camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As they that's steal what, that shit. That's what the bodyguards for, man. Shit. Uh, yeah. Look, don't look. Like, if I have to, if I have to tell you guys, like, probably don't stay at the Strat. Don't stay at the fucking Circus Circus. <laughs> like, to, yeah. legitimately, where spend, you want to spend, spend, spend the extra money, get a, so, get a so nicer you, hotel. Caesars, Bellagio, Cosmo, Aria, Paris, Paris is okay. Um, Bailey's is not terrible. It's just kind of like a low end thing, but it's like right there. But the coolest is you're buying, but you, which the main thing is that you want to be where the action is. So if at least on the strip, so Bailey's is not terrible. The rooms aren't that expensive, but it's, it's clean. And you, when you get down, you got, you, you basically are in the action basically. I want to go check out Mandalay Bay. Just oh, the, the Venetian, cool the Venetian's amazing too. And yeah. Stuff. Venetian's nice. But even Mandalay Bay, I think is uh, kind of more towards the outskirts it, it it definitely is and stuff like, like the trunk I hear, like the, I hear the pool parties are like sick oh yeah yeah definitely i mean the the pool there's only there's the big three pool parties are like paris paris there's actually a big there's actually a pool right there too um mandalay bay mgm I, doesn't the aria should, have, have parties too or yeah like, but, no but those are those, they're mostly clubbing it's mostly clubs oh, okay like okay. So they, they, aria have, and, like, they have pools but they're not like anything like super okay. special i don't think okay sure yeah it's the south end of the strip and stuff like that yeah circus circus there's actually a great channel called pompsy if you check it out like they're uh they have cool i mean let's just talk about like we're, we're gonna talk we're talking about high-end stuff because any of you guys were in hex with us man you deserve it yeah treat treat real. yourself like it's been a mm-hmm. it's been a grind over the past year and a half so enjoy yourself yeah. a lot and of you... people need that recharge yeah Luxor and Terry is terrible. Luxor is really cool, actually. If you go inside of it, it just looks really cool from the outside. Uh, but it's like it's okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, the marquee pool, the marquee day. The, yeah, there's, there's a day party and stuff. And there's also something called the the Darius Club, which is right outside the Cromwell, which is attached to like all the um, the uh, I think it's it's like right out the side of the uh, yeah the Cromwell. That's a tight club as well, and then Aria's got a really cool club as well. But basically, the, the reason I like the Cosmo is because if you want, you go to the Narc, when you go there, you can set up a whole VIP thing and everything like that, and just get access and get your own yep. table and stuff. And then that's that's probably the way we got to roll is. for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But this is a small club though; it's not that big. It's like I think it only carries like 300 people max in that oh, place. That's, that's really that's cool. still pretty good. 
that's a, yeah. that's a lot of people. Yeah. Why no, not? no, yeah. that's a that's a small club, bro. That's, that's a small. That that's big. that's my the the other the marquee I think or not the marquee. I'm sorry, the Dar the Arius or Darius club or whatever. That only holds like 500, I think. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> what did you do when you were uh, at Vegas the most recent time? Did you uh, go in, go to any of the nice clubs or uh, what did you do? The, what Brand is trying to say is, what's the best strip club to go to? That's, the, that, that's what he was trying to <laughs> say. Brand, Brand is living like fan, Brand's living fantasies through us. Okay, we'll tell Brand, you, bro. Brand, Brand, Brand is, Brand's, body, Brand, Brand's bodyguards are actually just going to be just his own like harem of uh, strippers. Is actually what's going to be. That could work. Just, just a bunch of stripper cops <laughs> with body cams. <laughs> You and your body cam, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Yeah. yeah. Say the legs are pretty well inside. Yeah. Oh, the circuit is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I've only been to Vegas once, so I'm uh I'm ready to go out there again. I had a good time, but uh, I forgot I forgot what hotel I, I like stayed in one of the knockoff hotels, so like it was good on the wallet, but at the same time, it wasn't the wasn't the full experience. How long ago was it? Mm, I don't even remember, bro. Yeah, a few years. It's been, yeah, it's been a couple of years at least. Right, way be way before uh, virus times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Miami's Miami is nuts. Uh, prices are going. Prices are going up for what hotels? Probably because I think uh, I think Vegas is supposed to be opening back up when. Uh, right like right when the hexagon event is yeah so if you guys don't know um hexagon.vegas uh maddie allen at hexagon's uh essentially running running the event down there so you guys can check it out and i think we start june 24th and go to the 26th so essentially thursday to thursday to sunday should be should be a pretty good time if any of you guys want to head out there we should be pretty easy to to find it's just gonna be a bunch of hexagon merch and a Bunch of hexagons just balling out. I'll probably be buying a Rolex. My drunk ass will probably do it when I'm fucked up. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. New hotel. Okay. Sweet. All right, guys. Uh, probably going to be wrapping up here shortly. So if you guys got any more questions, feel free to shoot them. I'll actually look at the chat since DC wasn't uh, doing the greatest job pulling them up. Let's see. Hey, right. uh, Eric Oin, it's uh, shapeways.com. It's like Hex logo em embrace, something like that. Yeah, just shapeways.com. Look up like Hex uh, hex Crypto, and uh, you'll get either Brand's option or my like skeletonized uh, version of it. I, I'm just look, I'm looking, I'm looking at the chat, and I'm like, it's just strippers and this and that and muggers. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck's going on right now? We're talking about Vegas the whole time. I mean, yeah. for like the past like ten Vegas. minutes. Let's keep talking about Vegas, man. Like, let's just keep going into it, dude. Because the, uh, the I mean, dude, yeah, the, it, the resort fees are bullshit. They don't get. It's just a way to make you think you're getting a cheap price and then hit you at checkout with like, oh yeah, yeah. by the way. Here's an, yeah. an extra night's worth of expenses that. Oh, and they also hit. You, they also hit you with like um. You have to make sort of a down payment too, like a uh, well, I forget what that's called. Not not a down payment, but like a, a, a reserve, or something like that. A reserve reservation fee and stuff like that. Because at least I, I mean I'll tell you how much I paid for my my hotel. I mean it was like twenty eight hundred dollars. I mean you get you get it Damn, back dude. Though, right. Shit. Don't you get it back? Like the deposit or whatever. As long as you don't. Yeah, you, you get it back, but it was like twenty eight hundred plus whatever it else it was. How many yeah, nights that's... were you out there for? I was out there for f uh, for like four. Twenty eight. Yeah, that's bro? intense, man. Shit. Shit. Yeah, I was but I was gambling, bro. I was like, I was. <laughs> I was oh, out there oh, I thought that was just. I thought that was just your hotel reservation. I was like, that's way too fucking high. Yeah. No, no, that was with the red hotel reservation. Yeah. And gambling, though, right? And gambling stuff. So, oh, yeah, okay. I had fun. Yeah, 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 I had. Hey, Brandon P, cool. if you want to book a consultation with me, just hit me up. Just hit me up with um. Just hit me up in, on Twitter and stuff. The website's coming one day soon. <laughs> but yeah, like, we've, hit, uh, hit me... we've heard uh, the website's coming for a hot minute now. Four more yeah. weeks, guys. Come on. <laughs> Four more weeks, you guys. That's how it feels like with Pulse, man. It's like, oh, today, the, you know, the, the sacrifice definitely going to start. <laughs> That's an interesting question, right? How do you guys real rationalize buying stuff like Rolexes, GTRs, and when you can buy assets and stuff? Because it's all I own is assets. That's all I do is assets. Like, what are we talking? Like, eventually, eventually, take take some profits and enjoy yourself, yeah. right? Like, you 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 do earn it at some point, but uh, yeah. 
just don't make sure make have your money working for you as long as possible like right now we're not even close to the bear market we're about to go into that hyperbolic fucking you pure mm. euphoria phase so this is not not the time in my opinion um well yeah and like after you've already had like say say with hex for example for a lot of the the early peeps like you know you've already had a thousand x like sure yeah you you can take a, a you know you can skim a little bit off the top right and so same thing with with uh with what motley said it's not like you're taking like your whole bag and just like blowing it on you know lampos and and rolexes and whatnot it's like oh i've earned this like got x amount of profit we're gonna take a smidge bit off the top so it's a little bit different i know a uh, bit finesse just asked um all-time lows hex was uh point zero 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 five six cents um he's like for people sacrificing pulse dumping it all or I think he meant sacrificing Hex and dumping it into Pulse. How do you think they'll be buying? Uh, think they'll be buying Hex at higher, or lower effective prices? I think yeah. he, I think he worded that wrong. Wasn't yeah. he, he's he, trying to he, say like essentially Pulse, right? Not, not Hex. All right, so you guys, you guys can hit me up on either Twitter, Telegram, or Discord, anywhere. It's, it's Litecoin Moses on Discord, I think. Yeah, Litecoin Moses. It's like a two lines laughing. That's my fucking thing. I, I, I just don't think we have enough. Uh, I don't, we don't have enough knowledge yet, uh, bit finesse on uh, what the parameters are going to be. If there's going to be a certain price associated with token X, what that price starts at, we're not going to, there's what the multipliers are going to be. I mean, as soon as we get the hard details, then you can crunch the numbers and see if it's like getting in um, for hex at all time lows. So but until we get those actual official numbers and stuff, we don't know. Personally, you see where that number is, where it says five six. Go one, go one. You see the next zero, that place right there. I think that's where we're starting at. Honestly, one, one more, one more zero back. Uh, forward, forward. Oh, okay, forward. forward. I was about to say one more yeah. zero back. I was like, Jesus. Forward. That's where I think we're starting, and then it's quickly going to head to the next one. So we'll be, we'll be very close to maybe like we'll be at like ninety percent of a percent of a percent or something like that, and then because. We'll, we'll basically like because we'll basically after like by the end of the sacrifice phase we'll probably be somewhere in like the two cent range or something like that not not for the price but just relative to hex or obviously obviously you got you got a one point trillion dollar supply so it's it's going to be much more zeros you know Zach it's going to be exciting as, as long as you hold all your keys Zach you'll get a copy of all your ERC twenty tokens in the airdrop not just hex I am fucking confident hidden treasures fucking confident. I'm very, very fucking confident. I got these diamond hands, bro. Yeah. Yeah, t take some profits, you guys, but just, be, you know, obviously be careful too as well. But, um, um, yeah, to go out in Vegas, have fun, do, do some fun stuff, take your family out on vacation. Obviously, don't, like, go overboard because, like, you'll be surprised. Like, you, you go on vacation and you think you have a certain amount you're going to spend and know that'll, that it'll always go over what you think, no matter mm -hmm. Always without fail. Yeah, I'm thinking about that ahead of time. Like, man, yeah. you know, I've got a plan for, like, overage, you know, just, like, overhead in a business. Like, okay, maybe the principle that I was thinking and, like, times that by 0.5, you know, like... Okay. So okay, Brett, Brett, if, if you're trying, like, let me know, let, let, like, watch, you could, if you plan, like, you have a rough, so, if, if you, like, you're planning to go on Vegas, right, and, and kind of party and just have fun with you and your girl, right, or just by yourself? Solo, solamente. Solamente, oh, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. You see okay. how excited he got to, to say that shit, shit too? <laughs> <laughs> you single that, uh, Brett? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> No, he says, oh, uh, no. <laughs> Man, this is how you know someone's girl doesn't watch the streams. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Brad's over here like, nah, man, I'm, I'm jumping boats, bro. <laughs> uh, no, she, she knows. She knows. It, it's going to be cool. Time. She knows. She knows. She knows I talk to other she, women. She knows. <laughs> uh, fucking alpha male over here. I mean, dude, Brad, if you just go to Vegas for like five grand, you're going to have a fun time. That's, that's, pretty, that's, that's a yeah, solid number. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's a solid because like you, you, like you if if because you don't have to go to the Cosmo or anything like that. You can just go to like Paris, Paris or whatever the hotels. You don't have to go baller. You don't have to do some crazy shit. Like I went for an anniversary. That's why I always spent I spent money and stuff and did all that fun stuff. But especially if you've never been to Vegas, it's really fun. Um, it's really pretty. The the one thing I'd recommend is actually going into. 
<laughs> go through go through planet go through planet so when when you're out whatever on your strip go into planet hollywood go through the casino and then there's a shopping center and walk that entire shopping center that entire shopping center will lead you into the venetian and it's really really pretty so you'll see these crazy like amazing like shopping like shopping malls and stuff as well as if you go into the caesar's palace in the casino and head through the back they have these crazy beautiful like uh, buildings and stuff and all and there's a lot of shopping you can do out there like they got the the biggest balenciaga louis vuitton stores i mean you don't have to do that stuff but there's some really great shops to go shop for clothes and everything that you can't really find in most places it's i mean it's just really cool if you especially for just just walking around taking pictures it's insane it looks so it looks so sick the miracle yeah it's the miracle mile yeah miracle mile and then uh, the venetian's so dope like it's, especially we go out there you can even go on the ride uh, on the boat ride and stuff you can pick yourself up a honey and like you can just go on the fo- boat ride <laughs> Every, everyone just wants to get brand fucked up. Like I know, you just want to get brand laid. <laughs> I can handle my own guys. Shit, I got three other brothers. Y- y'all see how how I can party? Oh, uh, that shit. that that's adorable. I'll, I'll I'll remember those words. Someone clip that yeah. for me. Here, I'll pull Kareem. <laughs> Hex clip, clips, clip that. <laughs> clip, clip, yeah. clip it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clip that shit and I'll just play it in Vegas. Like, hey, Bram, remember this? As he's like puking his brains out or blacked out. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, where the gondolas are at. Yeah, that's right. Flames. Dude, it really is cool. The one part of the Las Vegas I've never stayed at is actually towards like the. Next time, I'm, I'm probably going to stay somewhere close to like either the. I'm gonna actually might go to the Trump Tower or the. Uh, for fun. Or the. Um, what's that? The, the win. The wind side and all that stuff. There's like there's like that high, those super high end part of Vegas, down more on the strip and stuff. And I want to check that out a little bit. That's a that's a good point, Marco. Uh, do not bring any of your crypto shit to Vegas, that's dude. Good exactly. That's good advice. Yeah. You know we joke about bodyguards and whatnot. Like, yeah, just like in crypto, right? People always preach like, oh, don't put in more than you're willing to lose. Just like with that stuff, like, yeah, don't be like a walking target. That's just not smart. Well, most people don't know. I mean, just don't be like outwardly talking too much about crypto and shit out there. Like, you guys don't yeah. even know how much hex I got, bro. You don't no. even know. Hexicans be freaking stunting on Twitter. Right. Like, you don't. They're gonna be. They're that's gonna bad. be. Dude, they're, yeah, that shit. That that's bad. And they're gonna. I guarantee you, they're gonna be doing Vegas too. If you guys start doing that shit around me, yeah. I'm probably just gonna be. I'm just gonna disappear. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. I'm just yeah. gonna dip out. <laughs> I'm like, all that right. Is, that is, that is incognito not mode for a while. You, you yeah, know, you people, like, people like Richard have been incognito or, or like not incognito, but just like, you know, uh, smart about your operational security for a while. And anytime you're kind of like showing screenshots of like one to three million and stuff like that, like all it takes is a thousand X for that shit to become, you know, way more significant than what it is. And I don't know, it's just not smart to paint yourself as a target like that, you know, from robbery or just multiple ways of as a target it's just not smart don't uh try and like over you know put yourself out there for uh discrepancies in other areas not smart well the only people that are going to recognize hex shirts are going to be hexicans that's it (laughs) i'm uh i'm just gonna be i'm gonna get a shirt that just says like silent shell on it and then just put the hex (laughs) just like yeah sorry i dumped all my hex bags on you guys sorry silent (laughs) shell over here don't worry about me Uh, i listen to peter you know yeah Uh, yeah you're not wrong mark uh be you guys should not be showing off steak wrap to random ass people and uh dude yeah that's just all over twitter dude, um, all the time well it's on all twitter but twitter but mark was like hexagons are gonna get drunk as fuck and just start showing their steak wrap to, like randos on fucking on the strip and stuff like yeah, like motley like, show me your steak wrap no Miguel, <laughs> stop show me the steak wrap bro that's what that's what coffee said he's like he's like i'm gonna get you fucked up and I'm just like yo show me your steak wrap. <laughs> no you should uh, you should already like, have like sub accounts if you're going to do that anyway it's like oh here's a little turtle or like you know here's a squid or whatever like here's a little yeah. turtle turtles are gonna be uh big money at some point as well like the places the places hex is going uh doesn't pretty much be in just about any league right now and uh make some serious gains right. uh, let's see. so i guess wasabi just rugged us and started coffee basically man fucking 
I I expected I expected from coffee. coffee. Coffee's you know he had family stuff. Fucking hit up wasabi for the stream. He's like I'm getting tacos with his fucking neighbors, <laughs> and I know wasabi is fucking antisocial as shit. I'm like bro, are the tacos really that worth it? Like I, look, I, I obviously I want this I want to put this out in the universe. I think, all right, I think wasabi's seeing some chick. Probably is. That's what. That's oh, what. Yeah, I mean. good probably for him. is. Hell yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah because that. he's he's hanging out with his neighbors. Neighbors. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Watch okay. Watch Wasabi's yeah, neighbor. Why, watch no, Wasabi's neighbor with some hot chick and shit. He's just been. He's been trying to lay this game for a while, and he's like, now she's starting like, damn, Wasabi, out not even working anymore or anything. Yeah, wasabi. Wasabi lives for the shit. So if Wasabi's rugging on us, yeah, that neighbor's that neighbor's at least a solid eight. Oh God! Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's eating tacos. That's for sure. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. the it's, emoji it's, picture. It's, it's all. It's, it's all code. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah, we want to put Wasabi on blast. Balls deep in the taco right now. Uh, Watch Wasabi but, was a swinger. But but the funny thing is too, he's gonna fucking wake my ass up later after we finish the stream and tell me to get in the green room so we could talk pull strategy trying to go to fucking bed priorities yeah he'll, priorities. he'll 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 rug pull he'll rug pull you guys but then we'll go in the green room and then he'll he'll pop up and we'll we'll go over the really juicy t details <laughs> of pulse and how we're going to try to play it so you know motley i listened to yours uh your stream earlier and like josh deep was saying the same thing that i felt uh a, a long time before where it's like man i'm about to take a nap and then, like, someone hits you up and is like, hey, do you want to join the stream? And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Kiss that nap goodbye. <laughs> that's yeah. that's that's how the golden chart was created. It was Wasabi, like, hit us up in the group chat at, like, 3 a.m. Wanted to, like, go over some of the new TA he had done. And I was the, I, I was the only one that was, like, up. I literally had just got in bed. I was yeah. like, fuck. I was like, this has got to be good. So, yeah, the golden chart was created at, like, 3 a.m. in the back of a green room. I saw that the next day and it's like, man, I still haven't seen, you know, people are asking me, it's like, Psh, I haven't seen this man. Like, but I can tell you what, like, it's Bro, probably people, super bullish, you know, people are desperate for those numbers. Thirsty, Dude, they're, they're willing to spend a lot. Yeah. How, how is this Scott? I feel like, it, I feel like it's too family oriented. I think it's too cheesy and like theme because isn't it uh, medieval themed? What, what happened? Oh, actually, yeah, I, yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's, it's like based medieval off times. of the, me, medieval times and stuff. Yeah. New, York. but I would say if I had to put it between Structure Circus, Excalibur, and like New York, New York, honestly, I would I would stick to because Excalibur and New York, New York are pretty close to each other. It's those are probably the two safest family places to take your family to. Shit, knights, knight, knights of the crypto have to go get like some uh, cheesy picture at that hotel. It's pretty cool. Excalibur's not that bad, honestly. But but I, I would when I stay there, I don't know. But you can just walk over there and yeah. hang out and gamble and stuff. It's pretty cool. I, I that's something I did is I just went through all the casinos and had fun. Not not this time, but last time I went. So Maybe is the security like at the end of the strip, or like like when did you realize like oh? No, no, well, no, no. It's 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 the strip. <laughs> Quarter band is like a million rugrats at Excalibur. Yeah, I'm good. yeah, a million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a family I'm casino. I'm so good. <laughs> Not about it. No yeah, thanks. That's, yeah, that's what that's your take your family if you want to go to Vegas and then you just leave them and you hit the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesis said we uh, should auction off a green room spot for the after party stream. All right, how much? How much do we charge? Uh, uh, I, a million I hex. Know. I, I know. I know. We've talked about it before. Just like, just like, do you like some like random lotto where just like someone gets to come back in the green room? It'll, it'll right. probably it'll probably end up being like our lamest green room ever, and you'll be like, "What the fuck?" But if you leave, you have you have to hype the shit out of it. You got to turn that shit into like the golden chart. Like, guys, that green room, next level, next level. That was sick as shit ever. So fucking sick. <laughs> That actually would be kind of fun. We, we'll we'll probably do that at some point. We I, we won't charge you guys, but we'll do we'll we'll figure out some like random way for you guys to just like come back out and just chill for a bit. Yeah, a lot of the carpet needs to be cleaned. I'd agree. I've always wanted to stay. I'm gonna check out the Sahara too as well. I heard it's been. I've never even heard of that. Sahara hotel or yeah yeah it's what in Vegas that? Sahara. Sahara. Okay. When the 
prostitution advertisement <laughs> cards get shoved into your hands. <laughs> yeah, careful with the timeshare shit, you guys. There'll be people at these at these hotels, like the Paris Paris or the other ones, that they're like, hey, awesome. see, hustling people for four four day seminars and stuff, four hour seminar on a timeshare. Be careful. Dude, my fuck my that. stepdad, you guys have money. Fuck that. Yeah. Just my enjoy your time in Vegas and deuces. Yeah. Him and my mom were like, all right, let's go to Mexico. Let's like sit down for the timeshare uh, event. And let's Such just say no to man, everything. Man. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like that sounds like a terrible like sales <laughs> event. You know, like you're just getting sold the whole time and telling them no, like, well, Fuck that. Good, I'd rather good, pay for good the thing, Brandon. You could, you could, you could just get up and walk away while your parents have to endure the suck. <laughs> exactly. Let them, just let them suck it. That's my favorite too. That's that's the area to be at right here. Aria Bellagio. That, that that's actually area. where I that's actually where I stayed the one time I went to Vegas. Uh, mm -hmm. I like uh, my buddy had a free room at the Flamingo. It was it wasn't it wasn't anything special, but it was. Uh, I mean, the price was right, free. So. <laughs> Dude, speaking of special, there's a couple uh, penthouse parties that that I know a couple of us have been invited to, and it's like, man, Damn, why don't you just I've spill never... the fucking beans on air, Brand? Hey, I, I just said penthouse. I, I didn't say anything specific. All I'm saying is penthouse. Brand's like, and... hey, there's some penthouse parties uh, that are going around. I can't tell you anything about them, but uh, there might be some yeah, penthouse. Penthouse, parties penthouse. <laughs> there's been these wife swapping parties that we've been invited God, to. David Brand. <laughs> You're not going to get invited next time if you go blab about the secret penthouse hey, parties going. I ain't Jesus. saying names or anything. Never, God. never. This is All I'm saying is it's going to be a ball. Ships, Brand. God damn it. Yes. There may or may At not be some ball. penthouse parties going on. <laughs> yeah, Timothy, Timothy Benjamin said you said enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hotels being yeah. called. Uh, prostitution is illegal in Vegas, kids. You have to leave the country first. Isn't there like a certain area in Vegas that it's actually legal? Or I think I outside, of Clark, outside of Clark County or something. Yeah, like wasn't that. like wherever like the Bunny Ranch was or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like a specific uh, location. I know, it's but not... I wouldn't know. You know. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I know. Yeah. Chris Ward just said the Bunny Ranch. Man, yeah. those girls. I've been... Molly's oh, just got like memories. No, no, I'm just I'm flashbacks. Just to, this poor, this poor, poor girls might have been through the ringer <laughs> one, <laughs> one too many times. I think, uh, I think it's gonna be a hard pass for me. What, yeah. What are, you, what are you doing? Well, just talk about your prostitution stuff, bro. <laughs> I've only been to Vegas one time, bro. I did not. Um, that was to, enough for the not, level. Did not, there's a did lot. Not, of, there's a lot. There's a lot of little Mollys out here. Did not go to the bar ranch. Bro, there's there's probably a couple motleys like from the port visits. Uh, I did for sure. Shame. So let's let's see. It was <laughs> so lived in Japan. Uh, you got a black son. Guam. Philip. What's that? You got a black son. <laughs> a black son. <laughs> no. I think, not, said, I think you said Jamaica first. I was like, no, what? no, no, not not in my port cross because most of mine were Asia and South America. So like, uh, Guam, Philippines, Australia, uh, San Diego. Then I got to go around Peru. Chile and then Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So it sounds pretty good. It was it was amazing, dude. I had a I had a great time. I actually uh, back in the day, I uh, I paid for like Tinder Plus. You pay like ten bucks and you can move your your location. Yeah. So I would literally I pregame uh, the in the previous port. So like when I was wrapping up, getting ready to leave, I would just I just start I move my location to my next port visit, and I would just I get I get my girls like all lined up and pull in off to the races every every port call like it yeah. was just wild Dude. as long as as long as you can make it back to the ship without getting arrested it was a it was a successful port visit right dude yeah. check this out right here this is pretty crazy every time we mention brand's girlfriend he like he goes off air every time weird. Without, with weird without weird, fail right <laughs> it's weird bro you know what i mean <laughs> strange <laughs> Uh, speaking of strange, I think Wasabi's getting some strange right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. 
But Wasabi strikes me as a dude that bare backs. I don't know. <laughs> Bro. Just like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak on the matter. He's like, what's a condom? <laughs> Worth it. No. No. <laughs> Raw dog wasabi. Uh, uh, bro, I gotta I put that on I, the screen. I want that to be recorded. I want this to be recorded. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm debating whether or not I want to say some shit. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hold off. <laughs> I don't need this shit to be documented for the internet. I'm good. Uh, so, Brand, can I ask you a question? This is really really important question right here. Oh, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna answer anything. What you oh, got? Dang, what you he's got? On. Okay. I was, Why? I was hoping he wasn't on right now. And we just ask it to his blank avatar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What you got? Why is it that every time the chat or me and Motley mention your girlfriend that you just like? MIA every time. Like you just go like this. You... <laughs> oh, you know, uh, because <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, she, she knows. She knows. I mean, shit. Uh, she knows about the streams and whatnot. It, it's all good. Yeah. All good in the hood, brother man. All good in the hood, <laughs> man. A, a, yep, a, yep. She's going to Switzerland. I'm going to. Vegas. Oh, so you guys Vegas are both time. gonna have great times. Okay. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> ah, this, this, is, right. this tapestry is tip, starting to align tip, itself a tip, little bit. Tip okay. for ten. All right. Tip for ten. Damn. Yin yang. Uh, You're trying to go. <laughs> oh man. Freaking, uh, freaking AJ was over here. He's like, yeah. Wasabi's out there making little Wasabi Juniors, bro. That's what we, that's what that's what this world needs. A bunch of smart little fucking Wasabi Dude. Juniors out there. More, we need more TA. There's not enough Wasabi Juniors running around. Damn yeah, sure. Slapping them cheeks. Get going here. Wasabi goes for the tuna. <laughs> all right, now I've gotten all the information. I, I'm gonna find some way to go to Vegas. I gotta get my boy, LeBran, some. I guess bro, I, 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 I hope you can make it to Vegas. Bro, I'm trying, I, bro. I, I don't know. I, I I I don't think I don't think Bran realizes like how fucking wrecked he's gonna get. Like <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm down to stay up. Yeah, I got older while. brothers, you don't know. It's like okay. Okay. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> let me let me ask you this. Um, how long are you guys staying for? Cause cause I'm debating on uh, staying a little bit longer. How long? Uh, uh, I, I fly I fly out Monday night. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm staying like a day extra. That's it. Yeah. Don't worry, Motley. I'll get you to cancel that flight. <laughs> I mean, nah. I'm buying I'm the house. Trying, I'm not. I'm not trying to go UA right before I get out of the Navy. So I'm not trying yeah. to get thrown in the fucking brink. It's like, where are you at? You said you just were staying local for your uh, leave. Uh, not in Vegas right now. I get fucked up. That's for sure. <laughs> Nah, we'll we'll just if you can't make it, we'll just end up doing another trip. Yeah, we'll we'll do, we'll do another trip or something like that. It's just no like I can't, I gotta handle this. I gotta handle business. Yes, sir. Too much money to be made right now. Yep. Too it's much tough. money. If you think she's going to Switzerland for the cheese, you're. I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna read that one, dude. Wow, oh, dude. <laughs> But since we're on the topic now, Bran, um, you never know. Really? <laughs> oh fuck, dude! What? I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> nah, <laughs> leave, nah. That poor, leave that poor boy alone. Let's, God damn it, Bran! I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm going. I'm going off live for this. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let me attend to the audience. Uh, Jared says, uh, Bran is a riot mate. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, uh, Marco, Lamau, good to see you. Let's see, Biffiness. Bran <laughs> might raise a family out there, then split. Hey, dude, uh, I tell you what, um, that's not what. in the books, man. <laughs> that's not in the books. No, thank you. Brand, you, you, you in private, when we were in Vegas, when we do this trip, you let me know for real what's going on. It's it's all on afterwards, bro. We're, we're, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> so you're, it's gonna be me and Motley's mission. Oh my god! 
I know day. how to have a good time, man. It's all good. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I gotta Let's get. See. I gotta get back into fighting shape when it comes to my drinking and partying. I've been out of the out of the loop for a while. My tolerance is probably slacking myself. So I'll uh, I'll have to start prepping over the next yeah. couple of days here soon. Dude Hex Currency says, uh, I can see Hexkin meetups three to four times a year. Dude, I tell you what, man, shit. You know, one meetup a what? year is, is good enough. I mean, let alone three to four. Holy shit. That's going to be like a full-time job within itself, man. Yeah. So, my oats. so, so your wild oats, Brian. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. I tell you what. I mean, shit. I've never been to Vegas, but, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking it's gonna be a time to remember, I tell you. Yep, yep, yep. Time to remember. <laughs> you keep saying, "Man, I'll tell you what." I know that's like the only word I got in my dictionary, what? man. It's, You've been uh, watching too much King of the Hill before you came. Out. Not a good time. <laughs> so, okay, so, so here's 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 the plan. We hit Vegas. We tear it. We. We tear at Vegas a new tear asshole. Vegas a new one. Yep. A new one, right? Then then once once Vegas is done, right? Three four months later, we hit Magic City up in Atlanta. Shoo! We're gonna have some fun, bro. Hit Magic City. We'll hit King of Diamonds. We'll hit Ace of Spades out there, bro. We'll fucking we'll have fun. Bro, 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 bro. We're gonna be outside there drinking more than we have ever seen in the life. God damn it! I'll tell you what. Man, I'll tell you what, man. These fucking strippers, man. They just be like corn cobbin. God damn it, Boomhauer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, I sell propane and propane accessories. <laughs> but if I'm in Vegas, I sell cocaine and could not <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, Vegas is going to be wild. If yeah. I'm, if I make it out of Vegas not going to jail, it's a good, good trip. Yeah. Dude, that's that's, like that's really years. my threshold is not to, not to end up behind bars since it's a good trip. Better hire those lawyers now. It's going to be like 170 something hexagons going at at one time. That's going to be a blast. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That, that saves me fucked up. I, hope, I, I hope the hope the girl the guy ratio is a little bit better. If 170 hexagons are going to be me yeah. too, man. Jeez, man, shit. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because there's, there's a bunch of bitches out of Vegas, bro. It doesn't matter. Uh, Not bitches. I mean women. Sorry. You know, classy, classy <laughs> individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, legitimately though. But it, we, yeah, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be, on the ta- we're gonna be on the tables. On the we're just gonna take up a whole craps table because I want to make sure we all play craps, bro. I've, there. Ne- I've never played craps. It's never. Oh, you're, you're gonna play craps, bro. It's I'm fun. a I'm a I'm a roulette, um, poker, and just a blackjack guy. Okay, that's cool. Those, those are my three. No, the thing is, like a lot of the Las Vegas casinos, they don't have odds. They don't have any of the side bets, which I know are terrible bets, but it makes the game fun. And it's mm-hmm. just regular ass blackjack sometimes, which just kind of gets boring after a while. Children are great. There'll be three hex women and they will be married. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then some of the hex guys will be like, not for long. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, oof, stop. Oof, oof. Stop. stop. <laughs> stop. I'm not. Don't. Fl- We're wilding on this stream. This go, is big go. Stream. Spread, spread, thy, spread thy oats outside of the hexagon community. I'll just leave it that way. I've been getting a lot of titty pigs. I've been getting a lot of titty pigs. Don't shit. Unsolicited titty pigs. Don't shit where you eat. I'm not shitting where I eat. I'm not shitting where I eat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know? Don't shit I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I learned that lesson I'm just saying, Motley. I learned that lesson the hard way in the Navy. Motley, I'm just saying. I know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> I know, what, but we know, but does Brand know? You know, no, I tell you Bra- what, Brown, 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 Brand, God damn it, Brown, <laughs> Brown. <laughs> no, fucking, fucking, Brand is innocent as shit. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know the level of debauchery you can you can escalate things to. Like he thinks I've he seen knows. a lot of debauchery. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> so with 170 people going, like. How much security are we going to have? I mean, or are the hexagons going to just be uh, sufficient on their own? Uh, we should, no, we should or? be fine. As long as, long as we don't do, get into like the seedy parts of the strippers, do some dumb shit like that, we will be fine. Yeah, Brand that yeah, body, that body camera you carry around, you're gonna have to like burn that thing after. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna wear that for at least half the. Like, that's only gonna be under like. Cons- just, like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw. That's I'm gonna not throw, gonna be something. 
I'm going to throw I that wear... bitch off the fucking stratosphere at the end of the trip because there's just going to be too much incriminating evidence on that shit. I'm, I'm just I... like, I'm like, hey, I'll just buy you a new one. Don't worry about it and just toss Believe it. Believe me, I've thought about this a lot too. <laughs> I'm not, not, not going to be wearing that. <laughs> Marco, uh... Brand, Brand, Brandby the police. <laughs> nope, nope. No thanks. No thank you. Uh... Be good stuff. But, uh... <laughs> How does Brand feel knowing that he is named after a flower byproduct? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that Mason real? Brand or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Brand's going to rule Vegas after he wakes up two days later with the hex tattoo on his ass. <laughs> that's, that's definitely happening to somebody. Which side? You know, left or right? Or... <laughs> hey, it's up to you, bro. Or shoot, or shoot the crack. Either or. Go for it. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so stu you guys are saying I'm the one that's gonna get fucking married to the stripper? <laughs> oh man, your guy, your <laughs> I don't think your girl's gonna be too happy about that. <laughs> She'll never find out. Oh, you're not. You're not gonna bring the stripper back, bro. Come on now. Uh, that would be, wouldn't that be crazy if like the Vegas trip got so insane that like f f 10 years later we all found out we have kids <laughs> oof no oof. thank you no thank you pull pull out game strong oh, yeah, my, pull out, yeah, strong, pull out strong. game strong is it too late to sign up <laughs> <laughs> I mean just these guys just just show up bro just show up just show <laughs> you'll up. be good yeah just show people up people are like dude these these guys are hyping up this trip a lot man this is like people are like I wasn't sold but they sold me now I'm going <laughs> Sa Sapper says they'll be watching us not trying to spook us but they'll be watching us yeah hey man if that's what you're into watch away <laughs> watch away yeah I'm not getting no hex tattoo I don't have any tattoos on me <laughs> Bro, I, either, I, I, try, I tried to, I tried to get that hex tattoo on New Year's for two million hex right now. That shit would be what a hundred G's. Where mm -hmm. we you should have right pulled now. a Gary man, like with the ink pen. No, fuck that. That shit was stupid. Gary over there giving himself a goddamn <laughs> prison, prison tattoo. <laughs> prison tat. Fucking. If I was on the, I'm, I'm surprised you West Coast guys didn't freaking do it because you guys actually had tattoo shops that were still open. West Coast or East Coast, they were already shut down. It was already past midnight when they were doing that shit. Yeah, we have some legitimate like the, the Gold Coast out here and stuff. There, they're really good at uh, yeah, doing good, all that stuff. Good tattoo parlors, but I mean, um, I would, <laughs> I, 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 I knew a guy, I knew a guy, but he just didn't have his stuff on him. Oh, locked, okay. It, it was all locked up in the shop, so I was out of luck, man. But that'd be, I'd literally be sitting on a hundred G's, but I would have Richard's face tattooed on me, so it's a, it's a give and take, give and take. Did it require a uh, location, or it was just no, the, uh, that, the that shit, face, right? That shit, that shit would have been like on my foot or something, <laughs> for sure. Ankle tattoo. Hundred hundred thousand though for a tattoo. I'm I'm down. I think it was I think it was twenty grand at the time, so my standards were even lower. Uh, but I know where Hex is going, so I was I'd be more than happy to get a tattoo for two mil. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, Sinclair. I don't know who the whole grudge is, yeah. but oh yeah. Oh my god, I'm not gonna repeat that one. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like in, in general, if you've got um, extra capital to to party, you've got extra capital to uh, you know make sure everything goes goes right too. So oh, nice. That's all I see. I see Parallax uh, talking about Dubai. Yeah, I've uh, I've got a lot of friends that have been out to Dubai, but uh, I've never personally been. I hear it's a uh, it's pretty amazing the stuff out there. It's just like yeah. different different level. How is it? Explain. Go into detail. I mean, debauchery. I want to hear it. What's up? So what's what's to do in Dubai? I I actually never been either. I mean, Dubai Dubai is just nuts. The amount of money, just essentially all the oil, all the oil money out there is ridiculous. Fucking Lambos are like Camrys out there, from what I've heard. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, man. I've I've seen similar things from that, and yeah, it doesn't seem to be. I uh, I one of my buddies lives out there, and he's um, he's uh, his entire like financial consulting firm literally has one client. It's like one one uh, Saudis, um, fa one like family from Saudi Arabia that they just they're like oil, they're their own like oil tycoons. And I forgot. 
what he said their overall portfolio was worth, but it was like multiple billions of dollars. And the, his entire company just caters to their, their financial, um, assets, just them alone. It's, the, it's their only client. Like it, the, the level of like wealth out there is just stupid. Yeah. Dude, I'm having a lot of fun trolling chats saying invest into sperm. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want you to delve further into that. I'm good. <laughs> is that a, is that, is that, is that an actual crypto? That's probably some new fucking crypto, isn't it? No, it's a new actor. So, you know, the FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon. Uh -huh. You know, and all that other jazz. Well, there's a new, there's a new, uh, there's a new acronym. It's called Sperm, Solana, Polkadot, Ethereum, Rune, Matic. Okay, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I don't know any new shit coins. I serum, serum or radium on Solana. Just Go get serum. get 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 a fucking uh, get a position in Solana. It's about to be Solana season out here, ladies and gentlemen. Get if you don't already have some fucking Kusama, get some Kusama. What the fuck you waiting for? Um. I mean, literally. Good dip. Yeah, it's, you missed a good it's, dip. It's still, still dip, but it's still yeah. dip now. Like this, that bitch is gonna be like two G's in a bit. Like, it's yeah. Like, there's just money out here, you guys. Just right, right now, like the the ecosystems are gearing up. The first two are gonna be Solana. Like, for, first it's uh, Kusama, and then Polkadot, then Solana, then we're gonna get Cardano popping off, and then after that, we're probably gonna get um Pulse. <laughs> So Pulse is somewhere in there. So literally, we have like five five ecosystems that are launching, they're and there is rotating. money, 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 bro, money. If you if you guys want this fucking cheddar, that's shoo. You get download the Exodus wallet, get some Ethereum transferred over. You can just swap it and hold it on there and stake it. Ten percent APY, boom, right there. Only four day on on staking period on it. Exodus wallet, safest way to do it. And you can also get Polkadot on there too if you don't have, if you have, if you're geo locked for stuff. I can't recommend Exodus Wallet enough. It's actually really I've been playing around with it. It's fucking dope. Hold your own yeah. keys and everything. That was uh that was my first um that was my real like first wallet back in like the last cycle. Like mm -hmm. my legitimate wallet was Exodus. <clears throat> I like it. I like them a lot. Yeah, you hold your own keys on there. Yep. It's pretty fucking dope. I like it. Exodus wallet. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Biffiness is like, what? Trustless staking? Bar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. All right, boys. You think it's about time to wrap it up? Yeah, it's about time. Two hours, I'm ready, man. Uh, wasabi should be done, you know, slapping them tacos down. Dude, so. I'm going to kick him out of the room if he comes in, bro. I'm going to be like, wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, I will end the stream three minutes later. Hey, you guys, what's up? Hey, I was just waiting for the stream to end so I could come into the green. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Dude. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I just saw looking at crypto just posted something on a fucking on a private chat. He is he is Did coming he? in. Yeah, he's Did just he? he's watch. Son of a bitch. Fuck, man. He's timing. I know he's listening to the little motherfucker. He probably, he probably is. He's probably just chill. He's probably back at his, ha at his apartment just chilling. Ch choking just the like, chicken. He's like, yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just wait. I'll just wait for him to wrap up here. Hop in the green room. Do my green room DJ like like usual. Let, yeah. these poor, let these poor streaming monkeys do my, do my light work. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just enjoying tacos. Fish tacos. Fish tacos. <laughs> Hopefully fresh fish, fish tacos. <laughs> That's right, Vince. I'm uh I'm half Vietnamese, everyone. <clears throat> yeah, I, I didn't I didn't know he was Asian. That's yep. pretty crazy. Yep, I got Asian street cred, so watch out. So I want you guys to know that I'm Native American. Good luck with that one. <laughs> no, actually I am. I need to see a twenty three of me and then I'll sign off. Forty three percent likely story i'm i'm being serious i, I hey know. i'm down i've got a lot of friends in that category man Brand, Shit. get your white Let's privilege out of here bro get it out hey hey get get it out of here. i got lots of friends everywhere man Shit. i never said anything about that hey aj figaro yeah. um i would probably do 70 percent kusama 30 percent dot right now and you can an rotate allocation. and you can ro and you can rotate that later yeah, exactly. Like the the the, the Kusama the, here. I'll just show you. I'll just show you guys before I leave. Just it's something I do inside the consultations. I show you guys how to actually check for this. Uh, oh, it's really it's actually really good right now. Let's see. 
Let me pull it up. Free information. There's some free information right oh, here, you free. guys. All right, you guys see this? Okay, this is the Kusama to dot ratio. So, um, this peak right here was right in the middle of the of the of the uh, crypto mindset courses. So, what I what I originally did is I bought a lot of Kusama down here, and what I did is I started to dollar cost average around 11 and selling Kusama into Polkadot. So, if you look at this number, if let's just say it sold right here, right? So, what would happen is when you sell one Kusama, you'll get 16 dot. That's the all-time high. So what I did at that point is I sold all my Kusama into Polkadot, and then this actually crashed. And then somewhere around here, I sold it all the way back. I sold all my DOT token back into Kusama, and effectively I gave, I gave myself about 40% more Kusama. And then pretty much what's going on right now is because Kusama is going into a one-time sort of a, a macro play where it's it's having its parachain auctions where DOT doesn't have its parachain auctions. You could probably see this this um, pair go something close to about maybe anywhere from 18 to 22 and the Kusama to DOT pair. So then at that point, you could then sell Kusama into Polkadot, get a lot of Polkadot. Then once the parachain ch chains um, are over for, for, uh, for Kusama, then the parachains eventually will start for for dot token so then you'll have this crazy thing where like the ratio gets really low and you'll be able to sell back if you want into kusama and get a stupid bag of kusama later on for the bill market or you just keep the polka dot and make quite a lot of money it's pretty it's pretty insane like here i, I, mean, I show you show, here i'll show you some of the math with a calculator too like i love doing this calculator math it's let's do it fun. man Shit. yeah this is stuff that, this is stuff that I teach in the in the course and stuff and everything, but like, all right, so let's just say you, uh, what's a good number? Okay, 25 Kusama. Let's just say you have 25 Kusama and you did that ratio play that I talked about. Let's just say you were able to sell it on average for 14 on the pair last time. So now you have 350 polka dot tokens. Cool. And then you, you waited until it dipped down, which I did, and you sold it for 10.5. Now you have 33. You started with 25. Now you have 33 Kusama. Okay? That's kind of, that's what I did. But let me show you what you guys will be able to do. So let's just say you did it now. You're at 25. And then what ends up happening is that you, let's just sell you sell your Kusama somewhere around 20. So let's let's just multiply this by 20. And you'll end up with something close to about 500 DOT tokens. And if you're able to hold your DOT bag somewhere between two to $400 when you start selling, dollar costing out, you'll end up something with 100 Gs. So watch nice. 25, 25 that is, uh, let's just say current price is probably like 500 bucks for Kusama. So if you take $100,000 and divide it by 12, 500, you essentially did an 8x on your money. Now peep this though, peep this, peep this. So let's just say you're able to do the flip. You're you're able to you're you're able to you're able to kind of uh, do the flip multiple times, right? Which I think it's possible. You're able to flip it back, but it's either, either, the beautiful thing about it is like it doesn't matter because it, if you hold Kusama or Dot, you have two great you have a great asset no matter what. It doesn't matter, right? So exactly. Yeah, so if you're, let's just say you're able to I, I, sell I it probably like the, I probably like the whole polka dot at the end of it, though. Yeah, yeah, at the end, yeah, yeah but, but you, you, this only works <clears throat> during, while Kusama is doing its parachain auction. So sometimes, so right. what's going to happen is that the ratio is going to crash to like probably 13. So let's just divide this by 13. Okay, 38. And then it'll probably wick another la last time to 20. And then what you do is just, that's when you get out. Cool. And then let's just say you you just hold your polka dot at that point. You stake it. You'll probably have some by the time the uh, the parachains are in the, in the at the peak there when the prices are the highest. You'll probably have somewhere close to probably something like 850, maybe 850, 855 with staking rewards times let's just say 250 dollars. You'll have somewhere close to about 213 thousand dollars. Pretty pr pretty easy way. I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like to to get money in crypto is not that hard. It's just having a plan. Having an action and just making an investment. It's, this was not really a lot of money you invested. You, it was a twelve thousand dollar concentrated investment that you're that you're watching to make a quarter of a million dollars. I'm just saying. That's pretty good. Yeah. You get, you gotta be on it though. It's not. It's, it's, it's not, not like it's not yeah. passive like hex, right? So a lot right. of the hexagons, it's not it's not passive. This is something that you if you, if it's a move that you're gonna make, you have to dedicate time and 
attention. And a lot of us Hexagons, like we, we just enjoy our passive, passive income. So this is a move that you actually have to invest time and, and, and watch it. Into. Yeah. You, yep. it's, it's watching, but it's not so as hard. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. Just be aware. Yeah. You, but this is the, this is the same sort of thing with like, um, I still haven't done my math cause I'm still, uh, I'm still working on all my math for like Solana and all these things. But like I, th I said earlier, like Solana, it's like 50 bucks, $200, $200 short term top for now. You know, so it's a 4X sort of stuff. You will more than likely probably get that just by fucking around with Hex anyway. Just like you get a 2X out of it and then you'll mess around with the Pulse. And then what will end up happening is because everyone takes all their, <laughs> gets rid of all their liquid Hex. The, the Hex price is easier to pump. Then the, then it'll go up even higher. It's just beautiful. I mean, just, just make money. Just hold. What you want to do is never sell out of everything. Unless, exactly. Yeah, it's everything. It sounds stressful, Flames, but it, this is not like it happens all in one day. This is like over like a, probably a one month period, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. But this is but this is where you make money, man. Because like yeah, you have like a stressful one or two weeks. Then after that, you're just kind of chilling, and just kind of like more really, like it's it's that whole thing. I mean, it's just shit. What happens with men? It's like like if you have a business or something, you just it's it's the business is kind of cruising. You're doing good, and then there's like a stressful event, and then it gets cruising again. That's that's kind of what happens, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna need a Vegas trip to just you know get rid of some stress. Really Quite the admission. Did DC said he dumped on his course takers? <laughs> no, I was I was I was telling people during the course what we were doing because we were teaching this um, about the uh, pair, the the Kusama to dot ratio. This is something we taught probably on the third day. The uh, the the peak right there happened I think eight days into the course. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's just like you just gotta be able, you gotta be watching your stuff and everything. But like, but you don't even have to do that. Like, you, you could just like, like watch. You could just hold like, let's just say, oh, like, oh, god damn, I have to go back to the calculator. Damn it. The calculator. I mean, literally, like people don't use a calculator enough uh, to figure this shit out. But like, all right, let's just say, in the, in this example here, I would just. Whoa, I think I'm lagging. You guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got yes, you. Yes, sir. Huh. What the hell? What's up? What are you looking for? My stream yard kind of like froze. No, you're good. No, I mean, but I can't do nothing on my side of the screen anymore. Oh. Well, that, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Rug pulled. <clears throat> I mean, they, they get the gist of it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a headache. Can't see this episode. <laughs> All right. Um, you want to end it, DC? Are you there? Hello. I think we lost him. It's all oh. good. Let's uh, let's check in. There we, there we go. Weird. Damn, Bram was about to take over your stream, bro. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Yo, let's end the shit so I can do some green room magic and then go to sleep. This is like eight hours, or no, it's not eight hours, it's like five hours of streaming. Dude, for you've me. been working full time, man. Holy shit, overtime. Yeah. <laughs> gotta make that money. Gotta make, gotta make all that money I'm about to lose in Vegas, so. <laughs> uh, just kidding, just kidding. It's just gonna be dirty fiat. Yeah. All right, well, you guys have a good night. Um, yeah, we're ending the stream right here. Uh, have a blessed night. Be careful. But uh, DC Salty? What? Salty? What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Lemon Ortega said I'm salty, but what? Nah. Nah. No salt here. The, you guys, that what Sugar I was... Sugar spice. Hey, hey, I want you guys to understand something. What I was just talking about wasn't even trading you do you guys that's literally just you that's just like a, it's 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 just a conversion that's all it is you're just you're just converting one asset to another asset during like speculative it's just like you're, it's like when you guys sell hex for usdc when you think the price is high it's and just like, rotating through that's it it's yeah. trading is like you're just ta, 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 ta. I'm moving. It's, no it's literally the laziest thing i just i was just doing this click and then come back the next day oh yeah click it's it's not that it's not that tough <laughs> You can do it. We believe in you. 
If and if you can't, that's cool. There's stuff like Hex, which is perfect. Yeah, you can do it on Kraken or Binance or KuCoin, one of the three. But yeah, no, no, Lemon, I'm not, I'm not hating. It's all good, bro. <laughs> it's all good. No hate here. All right, you guys. Peace. Yep. Peace out. Later, guys. See you on the.